Camera check as I connect here. Camera check. Okay, I think, okay, I think we're good. All right, I, uh, we closed in about an hour, so I figured I would hop on and uh, organize and clean a little bit. I uh, also, do we have any of the small Pokemon boxes like you have on the counter? So I can put, yeah, do you have any of those so I can put in the magic cards? All right, let's see. Do I see? I don't see chat yet, Allison. I might need you to double check, see if I connected or not. Oh, oh, Tina, are you on Twitch? <laughs> oh, I see Tina on Twitch. I didn't see any uh, YouTube chats. So I don't know if it's on one place, but not the other. It is? Okay. I see the Twitch chat. I don't see the YouTube chat. Oh, hi, Ted, Tina, and Brian. Can you just type something for me on YouTube to make sure the YouTube chat is working? Okay, so yeah, the Twitch chat is working. I see you there. That's fun. Tina, do you go on Twitch often, or are you just going on because I, I went on? <laughs> That's super cool. Okay, I got a... Uh, such a mess in here. I got... I like to try to clean up by Friday. I just haven't had enough energy this week to clean up. I like to clear out the front. Just so that people can walk through and uh oh hey john how are you oh it's fine i got more people on twitch i uh only because of me all right awesome <laughs> i actually think the twitch stream looks like a better uh resolution it's kind of weird uh i don't on twitch i see what's that can you just do a test message on YouTube so I can see if... Oh, okay. I'm not seeing the YouTube messages. This is weird. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Hi, Donald. Hey, Caitlin. All right, this is weird. I don't see um, my thing. I see it on here. It's weird how it's... Uh, I only see the Twitch. Oh, no. There we go. I see Brandon on YouTube now. Hi, Brandon. I see Brandon. Oh, Brandon, I see your um, your user icon. Thank you. I know you just joined up a few days ago. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. I think... Oh, okay, Tina. Are you still at work? Was that all the ones that fell over? Well, there's more. I dropped the whole box. Uh, okay, do you need help with that? Okay. What box is that? All the, the good ones? I don't know. Allison accidentally dropped the whole box of uh, better Pokemon. Okay, let's go over here. I also, I kind of want to pick up all the, the pops that are in the boxes on the floor here. And just kind of clean up a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to try to just get this row cleared up for the weekend. And that's what we're going to do on the stream. I, uh... John, I see on your Twitch, I see a green sword and a crown. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I don't know Twitch. I'm not a Twitch noob. <laughs> I'm such a beginner on Twitch. Okay, I don't know what the best thing to do is. Oh, Ted, is that you on Twitch? <laughs> I guess everyone's going on Twitch. Just, that's actually kind of awesome. I, I'm going to use Twitch on all the channels. Wherever, wherever I'm on YouTube, I'll just hop on Twitch as well. So it'll be one place on Twitch. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I don't even know what I want to do. I'm just a bit overwhelmed because the store is still, like, uh, I was trying to get some stuff sold on whatnot this week, and I feel like I barely moved anything. Okay, we got one. We got one. Hi, Scandinavian Funko noob. Oh, thank you. I like I like when I'm in a good mood because then I can share my good mood with everyone. I don't like when I'm in a bad mood. That's why I pop walk. So when I'm feeling a little upset, I can hop on there. Hey, Richie Diger. All right, Disney. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to get this organized a little bit. Yeah, I'm, on, on Twitch, I think it's a lot better, which is annoying because, you know, YouTube is the main place I'm at. Uh, so it's like the main place I'm at is messy, which I want the best picture possible. 
And that's even, you don't even get to do the full resolution on Twitch until um, you get, I think, I don't know how many it is, maybe 100 followers or something. No, I mean, it's okay. I'm just making sure they're all the right way. All right, I'm going to clean up DC a little bit. So yeah, if you guys are on YouTube and you want a better picture, you can follow me on Twitch. I do like to get my Twitch kind of built up as well, so I can, I might do some gaming on there or just hanging out, or I might just put all my YouTube streams on there just to make it so it's one place for everyone to see me and hang out and whatnot. And, um, on fiction. Okay. Oh, cool. So that's your Twitch name is like an old handle you've had for a while. That's really interesting. Okay. Oh, Avengers. Okay. Ooh, okay. I know I can kind of miss clean this up a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, John, you're the first person I made moderator on Twitch. I, I will have to make Tina a moderator afterwards, but you deserve moderator since you're the person who inspired me to get on Twitch. And uh, you gave me all the energy and fuel to at least attempt starting. And then meeting Mr. Keem was what really pushed me over the top. But John, you're the one who really got me started to even think that I should be on Twitch. So you get the first moderator. <laughs> That's cool. I like that you have a special little magical sword. Okay. Oh, we just got in a whole package of prints. Uh, I need to get top loaders before I open that up, though. Is the... Yeah, I think so. Jim Lee... Where did you see it? Wait, complete over top of the comics? Was it... Uh, oh, oh, over this way. Over this way. Jim Lee, Jim Lee, Jim Lee. Where was it? Was it... Uh, over here? I'm not sure where it was, Brandon. I'm sure it was. Hey, Martin. Oh, Donald, you're half Oster Daily? Oh, cool. Oh, it's cool. All oh, you guys jumping over to Twitch is kind of awesome. I still can't scroll through chat. Okay, so Brandon, you're looking for the Jim Lee Joker box. I would love it to take off. I'd be there all the time and not have to deal with YouTube if YouTube doesn't want to promote my channel anymore. Okay, where the heck? Oh, this one right here. Yeah, this one should be complete. It looks like it has been opened, I believe. It's uh, extra large. It does look like it was open, so I think the short is, yeah, it's kind of a little bit, the bo outer box is a little bit funky. Uh, but yeah, the pop is in there, and then the t-shirt's in there, extra large. Brandon, did you want it? I have, you know, I have 30 on it, but I'll give it to you for 25 if you want. I'll put it in your box. I have a whole box for you somewhere here. Um, that's crazy to me that... Um, I mean, it's cool that I can stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, but it's crazy to me that it looks so much better on Twitch. And that's with, uh, like, a lower resolution. Um, okay. I'm, I'm a little bit ahead of chat at the moment. Okay, I have these three Papa's boxes. I need... Oh. Okay. Oh, you know what this was? Someone asked me to hold all these, and then um, they'd never bought them. So I might just put them back on the shelf for... So what's the bookstore on Bedford Avenue called? Uh, Spoonbill? No, no, the one with the little library. Is that Spoonbill? Yeah, it's Spoonbill. Okay, so Spoonbill. In the mini mall. Yeah, it's yeah. on Bedford between... Uh, I want to say North 3rd and North 4th. Oh, man. Look at this. If you guys saw, I put all the Mickey Mouses here yesterday. Someone moved a Ash vs. the Evil Dead Ruby up top, which was down here. And then these Mickey Mouses are thrown over here. It's just crazy how messy it is when people dig through the shelf. We're just a little too overstocked at the moment. All right, Good Omens. I don't even know where I had the Good Omens. And then I had, uh, yeah, Dr. Seuss. So people put like three or four up there randomly. This one was in the case. Case is overflowing, though. No? You know what I need to do? I need to do... Um, uh, I need to do maybe try a Instagram claim sale. I, a f I feel like whatnot has been really dying and really hard for me to get any kind of audience there. I need to find another way to um, uh, just get people interested in getting a few things for me if they want to get it for me that when I'm not 
uh, in the shop. Like right now I'm trying to sell what I can to um, clear it out a bit because we were overloaded at the moment. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I'm just like too overwhelmed with, with pops right now. I just want to sell as many as I can. Clear it out. Honestly, I would like to clear out about half of what I have and then just either buy collections again or find something else. Also, where did we put the whole box? Brandon wanted the Joker set. It's the lid right next to you. So this is the this is the whole box right here? Oh yeah. Alright, Brandon, this is your whole box. If you wanna see. We got a, a pretty decent selection on hold. So when you're ready, if you're not ready to buy all of it, you could just let me know which ones you wanna grab. I don't mind holding some stuff a little bit longer. But here, I'm gonna put the Joker in there for you. And then I gotta find somewhere to put this box safely. Okay, Joker away. Hold box. That's what I like. I like when people put together little hold boxes for me. Put it up somewhere, put a B on it. Put a B for Brandon? Okay. Okay, let me set this up. You guys are gonna watch me stick this uh, box up high somewhere. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, So, I put a, a B on the box. Brandon, if I forget where I put it, I'm putting it up top here. You can remind me. I could put it up here on top. Oh, do we need... Stan Lee. Stan Lee, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna grab a Stan Lee. Is the B in the front? Yeah. The rules are I can move this out. Here we go. Okay, I gotta find that Stanley too. Stanley is next. I have um, Spider Man. I the Iron Spider Man. I have Ahsoka's. Oh, I have Stanley up there. I think Stanley. Oh, the regular figure? Here, I will look. Oh, also, can you look on Instagram? I um, Someone asked me about one of the statues. I was supposed to get the price. We don't have any show Where is... I did. I'm so blind. Hey, Michael. How are you? Why am I... I am so blind. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. So this one, I, Brandon, I have 19 on her. I don't think I can discount this one too much because she's the only Ghostbuster regular figure. But $19 is, uh, I think, like 8 bucks under retail. Her card's a little bit worn. Um, but if you want any of the... Uh, if you want it for uh, 19 I can put it on hold for you as well. Anyone else? If anyone else wants me to put stuff on hold to either... Uh, probably do a whatnot sale sometime later, maybe Monday. I can do that too. But right now, I'm just trying to clean up for the weekend. He said yes? Okay. There's a bit of delay. I didn't see that. Okay, this is going into Brendan's box. Oh, which I just put away. <laughs> I just put it away. Maybe I shouldn't have put it away, Brandon, if you're going to grab more stuff. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no, my stabilizer. I'm moving around too much. All right, there we go. Okay. Get the Brandon box back down. Okay, that's part of the job. Up and down, up and down. Put that uh, away. Thank you. Bye bye. Before no, it's okay, Brandon. It's all good. Uh, Harry Potter. I am very low. We have one nice semi grail, and then I think we have one or two individual ones. Wow, the shop is such a mess from uh, our whatnot sale. 
I pull out so much stuff to show people, and then not everything sells, and then it becomes like a giant mess. Here, I'm gonna put this queen. This one's broken. I need to find someone who wants to open it up, and I'll give it to him for like five bucks. Uh, okay. Star Wars. We got Disney on Star Wars. It's actually quite a mess in here right now. Okay. Oh, and then we got Star Wars on here. Uh, Allison, can you just pull out the one Harry Potter pop, the better one we got? I really, I need to find a spot to put the robots. I have three extra cases. I think actually, you know what? I think I'll put them up there and figure out. I don't know what I have in that box. Oh, and I have to pull Stan Lee out. That's what I'll do. That box and then Stan Lee. All right, you're going to watch me climb up ladders again. Ladder climber, it is. Ladder climber, it is. Sometimes you got to put stuff away just so that it's kind of out of the way. Ooh. What's that? You, can't... you found it? Okay, I'll show them in one second. I just want to put these robot boxes out of the way so they're up. Okay. Oh, why is my phone sideways? Why do we go sideways? Okay, I don't know. Stabilizer's acting up a little bit. I've only had it for like a month. I hope this one doesn't burn out. Okay, there we go. You gotta move stuff out of the way to be careful. Stabilizer down again. Oh man, the stabilizer is not acting right. What the heck? Why is it doing? I guess it doesn't like shooting up in the sky for too long. Okay, I'm gonna just do that. We got Hot Toy Stan Lee. We sold one last week, so I had to restock it. And it looks like we are. I'm actually going. I only have one left in here. So I have the case of four, I have uh, two, one I'm pulling out to put out. So this box I'm gonna get rid of. Okay. Question is, where did I put the extra Stanley? Actually, wait, and these? Now that case is full. It's full. Okay, this case only has, uh, I mean, it has room in it. Here, I'll show you. It's, it's only got a couple robots on the side. So I think I will put the, right there. I think I'll put the extra Stanley in there. Kind of hard to see what's going on and pay attention to everyone. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, oh. Oh, why is this stabilizer keep falling? It doesn't want to go up in the air. Why is it acting up? It's acting like my worst stabilizer. Maybe I don't have a. Uh, you know what it is? I don't think I have it balanced proper. It's pushed over too much to the side. Okay, let me, let me center it a little bit better. Okay, now it's more centered. That should be better. Uh, I didn't realize what case this is, though. This is the black pop fuzz. Super limited. I only made 50 of these. Those are the rare ones. We're going to put one of the extra Stanley in there, and then... Uh, <clears throat> nope, Stanley does not fit. What's that? 
I know. I think it's because I didn't have the phone properly centered. I had it, uh, here. I'm going to flip. Can I flip this so I can talk to you guys? I need to get another device to talk on while I'm doing this. Okay. Oh, where's my, where's my face? Where's my face? And I'm also, I'm not seeing all the, um, the chats. Uh, see, I see Tina. Oh, I don't see. Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. Blue winged monkey. Hello, blue winged monkey. I'm down to just uh, 12 of these, I think. If anyone wants one, I might be willing to sell it. Next whatnot. I don't have room in the box for the Stanley. I gotta do this separate. Separate. Uh, okay. I think I want to, uh, yeah, Ted, let me know. I'll sell you one for 20. I, I, on that, I really don't like going below 30, but anyone who's bought a bunch of the other ones, I'll sell you. And Tina, if you want a black one for 20, I'll do 20 for anyone who already has a bunch of the regular ones. Cause I, um, I want to make sure you guys got them if you want them before I sell out. I've been really, the black and white ones, I've been really slow to sell because I kind of wanted to sell all the other ones. But I've been doing that for like 15 years. <laughs> all right. Uh. Okay, all right. We're making a little bit of progress over here. I'll flip the camera again. As I bought... Pulled out two Stan Lees. I don't know. Um, yeah, I gotta hang one back up. So let me set up the camera so you guys can see me climb a ladder again. I could do it. I'll figure it out. I hope me climbing ladders is entertaining uh, entertainment. There we go. Can you can you see yeah. the spot? You can see most of ET. Okay. Open up the Stanley so you can see them. Is it gonna be the same price? Yeah, three hundred bucks is fine. It was three. O it, it was three oh nine. Yeah, that's fine. Three oh nine is the price. So just put the sticker. Okay. Stanley. Do we have a scissor? Yes, Ted's. I don't know what Ted said. Well, Gotham City Comics says hello. Hi, Gotham uh, City Comics. Ted said, unacceptable, Sean. I will pay $30 and not a penny less. <clears throat> okay, okay, Ted. I appreciate you. Well, I'll do... Ted, I'll, I'll make a deal. I'll make you a black Pop Fuzz card to go with it. Okay, and then Pops and Puns said, how much is that E.T.? Uh, E.T. is $550. $550. I like this. Just keep it reading to me. I, this is more enjoyable than me trying to figure out who says what. Who, who did say what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth right. Bird. Unboxing. This is a Hot Toys Thor Ragnarok Stanley Barber Hot Toy unboxing. I like this as a hot toy for as a store because usually hot toys are in boxes where you can't see. But this one, they make it look like a big action figure, which is kind of neat. Like a you know big carded action figure. Who wants one? Yeah. I have my 309 in the store, but I would do 250 at this point because I've had them for a while. If someone wanted a really amazing hot toy stand. Hi, Brandon. I love them. Oh, where did I put that? Oh, yeah. Gotham. Where, what's Gotham City's name? Oh, I always forget. Gotham City, what's your name? I always forget. They said it's sad today's kids don't know who E.T. is. Yeah, well. E.T. is such a sad movie. I, really I always sad forget. E.T., <laughs> uh, e. it's up to parents to show the kids. If kids Hi, don't know Tina. it, they have bad parents. <laughs> But when I recommend it, I always forget that it's really sad. It's depressing. I know. I, I watched it with my dad. My dad saw it for the first time right after he uh, separated with my mom. I didn't think about the the, the um, 
divorce theme. I was like, oh wait, maybe this is probably inappropriate. Is it? Div- they're divorced. I don't even remember. Yeah, because it starts out that it's it's a single mom. She's uh, she's divorced from the father. And Gotham the City is Kevin. Kevin, that's. It. Oh, I'll and Bambi, and all, all the Disney movies are sad. It's always yeah, yeah. like someone dies. Yeah. And then Someone's the... always dying on Disney. Did everyone see there's going to be an Inside Out 2? I'm this. excited. This is back here behind Allison. Okay. Um, did you look on Instagram to see what statue that guy wanted? Uh, where, which, where? It was on, on Insta- your Instagram? Yeah, on my Instagram. Oh, I just pulled my arm. Oh, all right, no. I got to be careful. I just pulled my shoulder again a little bit. Ah, I gotta stop. I'm doing too much. Okay, I hit my climbing. Uh, on a uh, post or in the message? Uh, it was a message. Okay. All right, I gotta stop moving big heavy boxes before I fuck my arm up too much again. Because uh, now I'm starting to feel it. It was feeling better. I actually had a little pop in my shoulder. I was like, oh, it feels better. But now it's like feeling funny again. <laughs> no. Okay, I got the Brandon box. I, uh... Oh, you know what? I had pulled out a whole bunch of Aquaman stuff for um, um, Martin. The DC Direct Cover Girl Red Lantern. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Is it? Is it this one right here? I think. I think it's this one right here. Although I don't think she's not a, a Red Lantern. Red Lantern what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, um all right, can you just message them a, a um a picture of it? Uh I have one fifty five on it. I'll do one twenty five if they want. Just send a picture, say one twenty five. The box is a little faded, but it's complete. Yeah, I got I gotta be careful. Oh hey uh Socrates and Melanie. How are you? Okay, yeah, I don't want... I, it was feeling good for 20 minutes. Okay, I gotta stop moving the, the big boxes of stuff. Okay, I've cleared out some of the space. Oh, I wanted to remove the empty boxes, which um, I cleared these out the other day. I just didn't get around to moving them. I got limited energy each day to do work. Today, I just got all my whatnot orders packaged. That was my main job. And then I just want to stream with you guys for a little bit. We have 156, but I'll knock it down to 125 if they want it. I'm ready to do a discount on a lot of stuff. Just because I kind of... Like, there's certain things I'm sold out of, and I don't have money to restock. So, like, stickers. I'm down to just a handful of, like, like six styles. Usually I have up to 160. That means I've sold, in the last six months, I don't know, 1,600 stickers. I would like to restock that. But I need to clear out a bunch of stuff to do that. So I want to restock that. I sold out of a whole bunch of NECA stuff. I want to restock that. Um, so I just I need to clear out stuff. And find stuff that actually sells. Oh, this whole area got messed up. Uh, Junji Ito buttons. Okay, I'll just fix this a little bit. Not the best. I'll, I'll deal with that later. I know, you are right, Michael. Oh, Dave Strong, right? That's who, who, no, that's D.S. Holden. I forget. Hey, Nick Barr. Hey, Dave Strong. It was a different Dave that traded his stuff in. Uh, well, I, I mean, I don't want to do buy one, get one free if people only want to buy the best ones. But, like, the cheap ones, I've already doing that on whatnot. I'm doing... Yeah, a lot of these, like, cheaper ones, I'm doing $7 each. That's pretty much buy one, get one free. So I'm already doing it. Hey, Matt. Uh, okay. This shelf is a mess and not really organized. I think that's what I will do. Here, I'm going to flip the... Uh, I, need a, I need to bring a, a thing down here so I can just set it up. Flip around so I can talk to you guys while I'm doing this. I'm just going to reorganize the... Um, Nope, that doesn't work. Yeah, I'm going to reorganize the sports shelf and make room just so I can get a couple boxes off the floor. I just, I'm trying to clean up because I would like to be cleaned up for the weekend because that's when we do most of our sales. So I'd like it to be a little bit more organized. And right now, it's just like it's chaos in here. It's chaos. I just I also, just because I haven't done much this month, 
I feel like I haven't had time to clean up. Okay, you can watch my face as I organize the shelf. Although, that's not that fun, is it? All right, you can watch my back, I guess, as I organize the shelf. <laughs> yeah, so if someone uh, says anything, just read it out to me. I know, I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Okay. Oh, wait, let me go to widescreen so you can see. Oh, there's a bunch of chat just came in. Just read it all off to me so I, I know what's going on. I uh, saw so Tina said hi, static, hey, hey. And then David Strong said, Oh, yeah, Dave, Dave is the one who's traded the VHS tapes. That's right. Oh, hey, Karen. That's what I want to do. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to read. So, this whole shelf is like only half a shelf. So, I'm going to reorganize all the sports stuff. And so that I can just take a whole box and lift it up. Oh, Tina, I, Tina, I appreciate that. I know you would. I, you know what? Two years from now, I'm going to get myself one of those Optimo bots. And then I'm going to see if there's a way I can have it operated by you. And then you could be in the shop as a robot helping out. Maybe we could do that. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun, actually. Well, thank you, Matt. I know a lot of you guys would. I, I know you would. Jason does do that. Jason Feinstone, he comes in. Once or twice a week, and he comes in and helps me a ton. So, I know you guys are in spirit, but since Jason lives locally, he gets to do it in person, and I do really appreciate it. So, I know all you guys want to do the same thing Jason does. So, that's amazing. You guys rock. Mr. Brightside says good day. Hey, Mr. Brightside. How are you? Paul says hello. Hello, Paul. All right, I'm just I'm trying to get these shelves a little bit condensed so that they're not a big chaotic mess. Yeah, six, six miles is like just close enough, but too far away. I know how it is. Like, I don't want to go six miles anywhere myself. What is six miles? Six miles. So if I walked, I walked to the. How far are my parents? Um, walking to your probably like four or five miles, maybe. So it's, it's a, I'd say it's an hour subway trip. If you hit the right thing without waiting, maybe half an hour. Tina said Jason is a blessing. Jason is a blessing. Socrates said, how is little kid? He's not little. He's not little. He's he's almost as tall as his mom. He's about 5'4 now, you would say? Something yeah, he'll be, he's going to be 6 foot tall, I bet. Because he's 11 and he's 5'4. He's tall. Very tall. Oh, Ted said he wanted to help last week, but we were busy. I know, I was super busy when my friend uh, Rahul is here. He talks my ear off. Yeah, he likes to talk a lot, so I feel like uh, when he's here, I don't get to talk to anyone else. <laughs> it's all cool, though, Ted. I appreciate you just stopping by to say hello. It's like, you know what it is? It's, so, it's like if I have one person with me, I function really well. Once I get to two people, I start getting like a little overwhelmed, and I can't keep up with what everyone's saying. Uh, this shelf does not look very good, but... Push that, push that, push that, push that. Socrates said, oops, sorry, cool kid. It's cool kid. Yeah, he, he's still cool kid, but he's not cool kid for long, I don't think. Because he's going big. He's kind of a cool man. He's cool man. Well, he, he'll be whatever he wants to be. He, when he's like 13, 14, he'll probably start doing his own uh, YouTube stuff because he really wants to do it. And so he'll figure out how he wants to be called or whatnot. Col Collectzilla said hi from the UK, just stopping. Hello, Collectilla. I'm just organizing, trying to make it a little bit cleaner before the weekend. Hopefully, I sell a lot this week. I would like to have a really good weekend. And KT said, I just got home from seeing the Marvels. The movies uh, was really good, and post credit scene was exciting. Okay. That's good. I, I will take your review as a positive, because I'm hearing negative reviews. But I think the negative reviews are from people that are normally negative. So I know you're a Marvel fan, so I, I appreciate your review. It makes me kind of want to see it more now. Okay, so Static Rerun said, I can't believe how big he is. Miss the little cool kid days. I know, he, he just... It's, kids grow so fast. So fast. It feels like just uh, yesterday he was a little kid. Oh, Dave Strong said he's six hours away, not six. Oh, six hours. Okay, yeah. That's a lot longer. That's a lot longer. 
That's a that's a huge trip. Yeah, he's uh, I forget. Six hours by plane or driving? Because <laughs> by plane that's like California. Yeah. Yeah, I just remember a, a angry otter wearing a um, uh, William Shatner mask inside out, dressed as Michael Myers. That's how I remember. <laughs> That's my anagram to remember him. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. Don't spoil it. But uh, I'm, I'm excited. I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm so broke right now though. I might just have to wait for uh, Disney Plus, but. Yeah, no, people just hate because it's female-led. I'm a big fan of female characters. So I actually... The first time I saw Captain Marvel in the theater, it was like so-so. I liked it, but I was like... I didn't love it. Second time I watched it, I realized I did love it. Because it's it's kind of a weird, crazy movie. So the first time through, you just don't get everything. Second time through, I actually really enjoyed it. And Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, is one of my all-time favorite Marvel characters now. Like, as soon as they started making her comics, I fell in love with her character. So I really liked her show. So I... Some people might be hating on her because she's um Pakistani character, I guess. I don't know. I thought she's a cool character, though. So, okay, so uh, Dean said he's having early lunch. Okay. Dave, Dave said driving there in Rochester. Oh, we oh Rochester, Rochester, yeah. Rochester. Yeah, we went to Rochester like 20 years ago. It, it was fun. I liked it. We went to that, that record store. We oh, yeah, we went to the really big record store. I don't know if it's still there anymore. That was actually a lot of fun. Oh yeah, the pizza was, we ordered a round pizza and was cut into like squares. It was really bizarre. That was my only th th thumbs down for Rochester and everything closed yeah, early. The icicles were gigantic. We were there in the winter. Yeah, we were in the winter and the icicles were like, like the small ones were like this. <laughs> it was great. It was Beautiful. cool. I enjoyed it. It was a fun trip. I um I don't mind if they're long if they're good, but if they're bad I hate when they're long. <laughs> uh, okay, KT said angry otter, of course not. Some a hole on the internet spoiled it for me. Yeah, I'm I I think Marvel themselves are spoiling it to get people to go to the movie. <laughs> I don't want to be spoiled. Stop it. Okay, oh, I'm finding. This whole section, I'm not sure what I want to do with Evil Knievel. I feel like he needs to be in his own little section. Dave said, Sean is a big fan of female characters. Who would have thunk it? Like, <laughs> I am. Well, I, I am a big fan of female characters. Uh, Evil Knievel needs his own. Oh, no, I want to put a... No, I'm going to just put him down here for a second while I'm organizing here. No, it wasn't Sicilian style pizza. Style. No, it was, just, it was a regular was thin regular crust pizza. Cut in squares. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I, we know Sicilian. That's the thick, the thick. Yeah, I love. I mean, I love Sicilian pizza. There's good Sicilian pizza in New York City. All right, I think I have room for the tennis now. Tennis, tennis. Uh. All right. I'm I don't know if you guys can hear Allison. I like she's reading the comments to me, so I kind of like that, but she's on the phone right now. Okay, tennis. As you can see, this whole area is just a big old mess. There's horror. Like, someone's hiding a Chucky over here. I don't know. Okay. All right. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll be here during the week if you want. Okay. Bring this over here. You're welcome. Have a good day. Do they say what kind of VHS or is it just VHS? Um, 
random sports. Scooch random sports over. Oh, data. Random sports. I need a microphone on you so people can hear you. She now she is a mega Marvel fan, so they casted such a great actress to play her because she just loves Marvel. So she's like the biggest fangirl, and she's playing the character. So like it's perfect. I love it. Uh, James Strong said, "I've seen you go through your pop, Sean." Uh -huh. <laughs> That's true. You've seen my actual collection. One day, I want to have the space so I can actually do collection tours and, and like, do stuff where I can actually share my collection with everybody. I feel like right now I'm too full of stuff. I can't do that. Okay, I have one box here of sports figures that I can move somewhere else. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, so cluttered in here. I need stuff to sell to make more room for everything. That's my biggest problem is I just don't have a big enough store, but rent for a bigger place is so expensive in the city. Okay, I'm just gonna have a random pop shelf over here. And I'm just gonna put random pops up, I guess. Okay, I grabbed one of these boxes from the floor and I'm just, anything that I don't have a, like, I do have a Disney section, but Disney's full. So I'm just, I'm gonna throw all the random, oh, there's the one uh, Harry Potter pop. Okay, random pop section until I can fit it somewhere else. Oh yeah, there's some Disney stuff, but I don't have, the Disney shop is full. That's probably why they're in this box. Uh, there's room on the DC shelf and Marvel has a lot of room. Marvel's kind of a chaotic mess right now. Okay. Over here on DC. Uh, Ted said note to self, don't sit in Chicago Town style pizza shop. Is that the... That's the one where they put the The cheese first? Top. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Sauce on top? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, because I, I have to be gluten-free, I don't even get to eat New York-style pizza. It sucks. So what I eat is, when I do break down, and I usually get a little bit sick when I do this, I buy a pizza, and I take a fork, and I just pull the cheese and sauce off of it. So Chicago-style might actually... No, it wouldn't work for me, because the cheese will combine with the bread, I think. So that probably wouldn't be good for me anyway. Uh, Jeffrey Walker's here. Oh, hey, Jeffrey. Uh, I, I just remember it was a giant warehouse of music. It was really long. No, but it was it was big. It was long and wide. It had instruments. Okay, so maybe I've, I don't know. And this was twenty years ago, so who knows if they're still there or not? Oh, Ted, do you need Duke? I got Duke. I just found Duke. I'm getting Ted all the GI Joes. I know. I kind of want pizza Katie myself. Said, no, 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 no. Don't spoil. Don't spoil. No. I forgot to watch it yesterday. We were tired. Yeah, exhausted. Uh, do we have a Pokemon section? Uh, they're kind of in the anime and over there. Alright. Oh, so messy in here. I go a little crazy trying to um, clean up. That's it right there. Right there. Okay. All right, we moved another box of stuff. One box is out. Oh, yeah. Chat and picture quality is better. Um, can you guys all do me a really huge favor and go to Twitch... And just say some random comment and follow me on there just so I can get a little boost to try to get the algorithm to um, go. So where are we? Pop, um, Pop Fuzz on Twitch, I think. Do I have Twitch on my phone? Uh, I don't know if you have Twitch. You can go to the website, but you can also download. Here, I'm going to put this. Uh, yeah, yes for Duke. Okay, I knew Duke. You would want that. I love the old school G.I. Joe ones. 
Yeah. No, the, the quality on YouTube's pretty good. But I went on Twitch and it's like really good compared comparatively. It's kind of ridiculous how much better it is on Twitch. And this is, I put the resolution way down. I had it too high. Okay, Michael, enjoy your dinner. Okay, I have, uh, I wanted to get a few more of the VHS up on this shelf. And I don't know, I'm just trying to be more organized. Yeah, no, it looks so much better on Twitch than versus uh, um, YouTube, which is weird. I was even thinking if I just stream and I use Twitch and then I can download the Twitch streams to edit for YouTube. Because I feel like the Twitch streams would look a lot better for me. Because when I try to edit them on YouTube, they're usually a little bit more um, pixelized or a little bit more uh, funky looking. But yeah, I need, I think for me to hit the next, like they get on Twitch, they give you all these little goals to, to help grow your channel. And one of the goals was to get the five different people to speak at the same time. So if, uh, if you guys can go on to Twitch real quick and I'll just say some random comment, just to, to speak the algorithm and I hit that little whatever it is to hit that level of um, a goal or whatever. And I think, I don't know how many... I need until I can be partner on Twitch or how many followers. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I would like to get the partner so I can stream better. Okay, Jeffrey, take care. Yeah, pop. All right. Thank you, Tina and, and Ted. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad that me organizing is a great way to uh, enjoy your dinner. All right, we got Tina and Ted both said hi, and I think John was just on Twitch a second ago. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. I love the idea of uh, just I'm your <laughs> I watch uh, Loki. I'm gonna watch Loki tonight, and then uh, hey, King Leonidas. I um I'm gonna watch Loki, but you guys are watching me. I, I like that almost makes me laugh a little bit because I, I I just think of me as just some random dude that you guys find entertaining, <laughs> and I kind of love that you enjoy hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys. You guys rock. I um but yeah, I with Twitch I got really inspired by Mister uh, meeting Mister Keem the other day because he does the coolest thing he does is he has this uh, streaming backpack that's for streaming that um it lets you stream like way better i need to get that but it's like twenty seven hundred dollars and like 250 dollars a month so i have to really grow my channel to be able to afford that but i want to do that because it like his setup was amazing looking um yeah no exactly if you guys go into uh twitch just to say hello uh it'll help grow the twitch and that way I'm going to use Twitch as a place to stream all my channels. So if I'm on Pop Walks, it'll be on Twitch. If I'm on uh, Pop Fun to Play, it'll be on Twitch. If I'm on uh, the comic channel, it'll be on Twitch. That way, you can just follow me in one place on there. And then if it becomes its own thing, I'll, I'll be there. Thank you. I love the random comment. Thank you, Surreal McCoy. Random comments are awesome. Okay, I got... You know what? I need a little box. I'm going to... Uh, here. Thank you, Ted. All right, welcome back to YouTube <laughs> Inception. All right, I'm going to take this box. I am going to pull out some stuff just to get rid of. Every once in a while, like I do, uh, I do like to kind of keep the random bins of stuff for people to use for art projects, but every once in a while, I just have to clear it out. I think I'm going to get rid of this because it's been in the shop for a year and it just, it's taken up a lot of space. Just make a little donate to the neighborhood box where I just throw stuff in there. Uh, I'm going to donate that. Okay, Scandinavian Funko Noob, I appreciate it. I'm gonna get rid of that. Some weird uh, Squid Game type mask. All right, I'm uh, time to just clear out some of this junk. This is kind of the junk catch all. Patches need to go back in the patch area. Oh, wait, is that? Oh. Does anyone know? Is that a um, Castle Grey Skull part? Can't get rid of that. Gotta keep that. Gotta keep those 80 toys. Keep the 80s toys. All right, that's broken up. Uh, I'm such a, like, I hate getting rid of things just because I, um, it's a rotting out Lego motors. That's actually quite useful for anyone that's into Lego mechanics. All right, get rid of that. 
Uh, I should give that to Benny. He could probably use that for something. Um, oh, you know what? I need to give this to my friend Raul. This is a Space 1999 part. Ah, it's crazy the kind of... Like, it looks like a pile of junk. And yet, something like this is a 1976 sci-fi toy that's actually worth, like, 500 bucks if it's complete. So, like, something like that is really important. That's kind of why I keep this stuff. This looks like a little... Uh, probably pocket part, maybe? No. Um, uh, little Max? Is that the name of the toy? It's broken, though. I'm going to get rid of that. 90s toys are a little bit more common, so I don't mind getting rid of parts as much uh is that an actual game or is this like someone has magnets on it i think that's an actual game i'm gonna pull that out yeah i can't throw it out because i just there's a lot of stuff here i can get rid of this because that that's not parts but there's things that are um you know there's that there's the castle gray skull part there's thing i can get like something like this i don't mind getting rid of uh my name on twitch is just pop fuzz pop fuzz is the twitch name like, some of this stuff is just junk. Yeah, well, if it's an 80s toy, I absolutely love 80s toys. So when I see 80s... Oh, see, this is a cool-looking watch. It, like, I don't know why I still have it. Uh, like, I look at Ultraverse, and I'm like, oh, worthless. But this might actually be a rare Ultraverse thing. Uh, tips for artists who want to sell. Generally speak, paintings with light colors sell more quickly than paintings with dark colors. Okay, Interesting. Subjects that sell well, Madonna and Child, Landscapes, Flower Paintings, Still Lives, Nothing I Want to Paint, Nudes, Marine Pictures, Abstracts, and Surrealism. Okay, I do like Surrealism. Subject matter is important. It has been said that paintings with cows and hens in them collect dust, while the same paintings with bulls and roosters sell. Okay, interesting. I like this. I'm going to just put this right here. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll go over here. Go, uh, Dave Strong, go to Twitch. You'll be able to see a much clearer picture. Uh, let me know when you're on Twitch, and then we can go through this. And I think it's a little bit quicker of a um, a response. And that way you can uh, pull out, and I'll put a little um, pile to the side for you. Because anyway, if anyone wants um, movies, I'm doing a um, 3 for 10 sale, basically. Because I need, I want to clear out at least this extra shelf worth. So if I can clear out about that much and just have it on those shelves, it would make a lot more room in here. Uh, all right, sweet. Thank you for uh, everyone going on to Twitch. I really would like to have another, you know, I just want another streaming platform to work because I feel like YouTube just does not work for streaming very well. I feel like every time I stream, I lose uh, followers. Hey, Paul, on, on Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to actually put that to the side for myself. It's a Game Boy game that's going to turn into a magnet. I got to move. All right. I just, I would like to clear out as much of this as I can. Uh, you know what I got to do? I think I need to do a, um, a claim sale on Instagram. I said that before, but just with sodas. Because sodas do not sell at all in the shop. But I sell them online pretty well. Uh, okay, I emptied out half a shelf. I have to figure out. Also, all these shelves, people have moved the cassette trays onto the shelves from over here where they really, they belong up there so that I can empty out that shelf. I think I'll do that. Although I have one more box. Of, oh, okay. All over. I'm just over here. It's just like a mess. Ah, like, here's another bin of parts. You'll see like a 48-year-old guy digging through here, geeking out because I'll find. But I've had this in the shop for eight years now this is the trash compactor from the death star original 1980 toy line like i can't get rid of that that's like a classic uh something like that i can probably get rid of i don't even know what that is this is a part to uh it's broken i think gi joe headquarters maybe um this is uh this was actually my very first gi joe toy i got this for my uh, sixth or seventh birthday, I believe. It was like 83, I think I got it. And I I lost the figure that came with it the same day I got it. I was throwing him up in the air, having a fun time. And then he, he flew into the um, the Poison Ivy batch. Oh, yeah. See, here's another. This is, that's also a Castle Grayskull part. Yeah, one box at a time. Exactly, Tina. One box at a time. 
Yeah, KT, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do them in a few weeks. Uh, Dave Strong said he wanted to. And um, I, I just want to clear. So I'll, base, I'll, I'll do three for ten for all the box sets. Like, if you actually see something here, I'll put it to the side for you. I'm happy. I don't mind actually putting stuff to the side knowing that you guys will eventually pay for it. I mean, uh, I could, uh, Karen, when you want me, uh, probably both, I think. Okay, Caitlin, welcome to the stream. Uh, music one out of 10, one out of 10 music. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, there's certain things I want. I need to clear out at least two shelves worth of space right here. Cause I feel like it's overflowing and, and two boxes worth right here. And, um, yeah, Dave, I see you. There you are. Okay, can you see well? Let me, um, I'll go through this box slowly if you see anything. We have Disney DuckTales Volume 2. That's kind of neat. Uh, American Horror Store Asylum. Avatar Book 2 Collection. Uh, Californication. The, oh, what is it? how do you even say that? I don't even know. <laughs> the B-O-R-G-I-A-S. The Borges or Bourgeois? Borges. Okay, Son of Anarchy Season 1, Season 3, California. These are all brand new sealed ones. Weeds, Power, Season 1, 3, and 4, Sons of Anarchy 4, Archer, Weeds, Nip Tuck, Oz, uh, Desperate Housewives. Yeah, two weeks. You, I will do a specific whatnot sale just for you. Just If I have at least one person that's enthusiastic buying stuff, then I'll do a, a whatnot sale at any time, basically. I, oh, hey, Alexander. Uh, Archer, okay, Archer. I just hate doing a whatnot sale where there's like no one buying. Uh, so I have Archer. That's the Dreamland complete season eight and season two. So you want both of those? I'm assuming. And then, uh, okay. So I'll grab those. Do we have a small box that I can you actually? I was in the front. Can you get me the small little banker box so I can put uh, Dave's stuff in there? Only eight. Okay. Only eight. Gotcha. Gotcha. Season eight. Yeah, 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 I just saw that. Oh, I left three on here. Let me move these out of the way. Ooh, it's a mess in here. It's a mess. It's because I my arm was messed up. I just haven't really um, been keeping up with the mess, so it just kind of goes out of control. Uh, Okay, let's go over here. Uh, the Blu-rays, I can't do three for ten, but I can, like, do a better price. Uh, well, you know what? This is newer, I think. Newer as... It, yeah, 2017. So by then, they weren't selling as well. So they... Um, you don't see them as much. And it just... Like, it's, I have it for $10. It should be something that people are buying. But, uh, you know, people just don't buy DVDs right now. Uh, see, and look, I have them buried underneath here, too. Some of these have probably been here for years. Uh, look and see if there's anything that looks exciting. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff here that's just, like, older that I have just too much of. Okay, and then this is... Uh, we got Little Mermaid Blu-ray Diamond Edition. That's kind of cool. Uh, Law & Order SVU. Do we have any Law & Order, Allison? Do you remember? I have Dexter. I have, uh... Oh, I don't even know. No, I think I'm out of Law, Law and Order is actually one set. I think people actually like the Sopranos and Law and Order people. Um, they grab those actually because people love Law and Order, right, Allison? We don't really keep Law and Order in stock. We don't get it yeah, we don't get it because people don't get rid of it either. When once you own your Law and Order, you just development. Arrested Development. We have way too much of. And the office. Uh, do we have the Office left? We might have a little bit of office. Entourage. Anyone want Entourage? <laughs> I liked it when it was on, but like it's not aged that well. Uh, okay, so that's kind of an idea what I have here. I ha I'll put one on hold for you, and we'll just we'll do three thirty three or whatever if we don't find two others. 
It's the thing. It's kind of hard to sell uh, box sets because it's hard to have exactly the ones that people want. I have some West Wing down here that have been sitting here forever. Uh, yeah, I think all the stuff down there is just buried because it just it doesn't sell. And I just like, I put these shelves in. Uh, CSI. Do we have any CSI? Possibly. Maybe this there, is a, there's a maybe. Miami one. There might be a CSI Miami hiding. I don't remember. I am just not organized right now. Uh, I, I, I don't think I saw Chicken Little. I know of it. I don't think I've ever actually seen it. <sighs> yeah, Alice, I don't think we, we have any CSI left at the moment. KT said any Jim Carrey, Will Ferrell, or any other early 2000s movies like that? Possibly. Uh, Top Shelf, Battlestar Galactica. Oh, you saw one? To you at my left. Um... Uh, KT, I probably have uh, some of that kind of stuff in the regular DVD section. Mm, I'm not seeing it. Shelf below that. Okay, over here you saw one. Oh, here we go. CSI, the complete third season. So you want that one. We'll throw that into your stack. There you go. That was good. You figured it out. Better than me. <laughs> I'm so disordered. Like, I sell them cheap, so I don't really spend a lot of energy organizing them. Because the ones that sell, sell, and then the ones that I have, you know, don't sell. So it's not like I need to organize the ones that no one wants. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, oh, who was asking for Northern Exposure seasons? Someone was asking me for Northern Exposure at some point. Yeah, yeah, I grabbed it. I grabbed the CSI. All right, I don't know. All right, let me get... I got to get back to cleaning. I got two for you. We'll try to figure out some more next time. I don't want to spend too much time doing that because I'm just... I want to get cleaned up before the weekend because that's when I make all my income. Saturday is usually like half my income for the week. Tell KT I'll be on the lookout if I see any of the... Okay, uh, Allison will keep an eye out for those type... the early Jim Carrey stuff for you if Allison sees it. Okay, I'm going to move the fallout. I'm going to move all these Game of Thrones... Uh, I don't remember. Karen, do you like Blu-ray or DVD, or it doesn't matter? Either one is fine. Yeah, we we'll, we can do a little bit of digging every time I stream. I don't mind giving you like five ten minutes to take a quick look. Especially, it's just it's easier if I have let's say like four people that want movies and TV series. Then I can like pull out a lot more. If it's only you, then it's not as efficient. I like being efficient. So if I had like five people asking for movies, then it'd be cool because you'll grab something, someone else will grab another one. So even doing a uh, whatnot show might be better because I might get a few people that, sh that aren't, you know, don't really know me, but might want some box sets for three for ten. Okay, that box is done. What else? There are sodas. Oh, I'm trying to get out the Game of Thrones. Someone asked me to put Game of Thrones to the side, but then they didn't buy them. It's a little bit frustrating when I, that happens, but... I also, I don't think I remember who it was. I think it was just a random person that I didn't know. If it's someone I know, it's fine, because I like I know how to contact you. Exactly, I'm giving them away at this point, so I know there'll be someone who might want to grab some at that price. If I was, if I had space, I, like, if I could find three for ten Blu-rays, I'd probably buy, like, a bajillion movies. Because, I, I mean, at one point, Alice and I had six or seven hundred, uh, I mean, six or seven thousand dvds in our collection that we sold to help open up the shop oh i just cleared that box out i could use this box for uh vhs tapes i think yeah well i mean the cool thing with dvds is that you can um you know you actually enjoy them you can watch them <laughs> can't really do much with a uh funko pop other than just stick it on a shelf yeah, no, definitely. Like, if I was, if I had the space and I was doing movies again, collecting them, I'd probably buy so many Blu-rays. We watched it. What movie did we watch? The Lorax? Was it The Lorax? We watched on Blu-ray? I think we watched the, yeah. yeah, we watched The Lorax recently, and I forgot how nicer the picture is on Blu-ray compared to streaming. Streaming looks good, but it'll still have little artifacts and stuff, whereas when you watch on Blu-ray, it just looks crystal clear. 
absolutely prefer Blu-ray. So yeah, if I had space, I would set up a whole library and I'd probably collect more movies. Because honestly, you can get used Blu-rays for like three bucks. You buy seven a month, that's like a subscription to Netflix, right? You said like $20 or $15. And then, um... <laughs> Ted, you are amazing. I love it. I really, I kind of really hope that Twitch kind of takes off so that I have another place that's uh, successful. That's the thing that kind of motiv demotivates me on um, YouTube is the main channel. Every time I stream, I lose like four or five subscribers. So it feels like the algorithm no longer promotes my channel. So I, it's demotivating. But I love hanging out with everyone and, and chatting and... Um, you know, having a conversation with everyone. So I kind of want a place that's kind of growing. That's kind of why I like the pop walks. It doesn't grow fast, but at least it grows a little bit every time I stream. I did the marathon walk. I gained like 15 people. And then the last, not yet, not yesterday's walk, but the walk night before, I gained, I think, four people. That's all I want. I want a little progress. So every time I do something, I know it's growing because at the rate it is now, it's not big enough for me to do it full time. Whereas I would love to be able to stream full time. Imagine like if I had a big enough channel that I could just afford a big studio space and just spend every day playing with toys and showing you guys cool stuff and talking about it. Like that would be heaven for me. I would love that so much. Right, I gotta put this down for one second. Down for one second. Okay. All right, trying to get rid of the one box right here. Uh, which, which lore, I don't know, I, I guess it's the Illumination, is there more than one Lorex movie? It's, it's the just, one with Taylor Swift it's, and Danny oh yeah, it's the one with Taylor Swift, so, uh, Allison really wanted to watch it, and the cool kid had good fond memories of it, so he wanted to rewatch it, so it was, like, the two of them watched it, and I watched it a little bit. Uh, what, does that mean you just became a Twitch member, Ted? I just, it just said, or, or, oh no, you're saying, or, uh, oh no, you're saying, oh, I'm, I'm, that, uh, that message is confusing. Oh, you, you have 19 member, months of membership with Pop Fuzz on, um, uh, Pop Fun to Play. Yeah, Ted, thank you. Appreciate it. You get the nice, uh, special robot that takes months or a year before you get the, that color. Really appreciate that. That's cool. I didn't know it popped up a notification like that. Yeah, 4K is too expensive, and I don't know if I... I haven't seen a 4K yet, but I don't know if the picture needs to be that much better for me to think it's better, right? Blu-rays looks absolutely stunning on my TV. I just have a, um, a Amazon Fire TV because it was like 500 bucks for a 65... Is our TV 65 inches? Yes. Yeah, it's a 65-inch TV, and the picture looks awesome. It's better. I had a, a, like a $1,000 65-inch um, from uh, IG that broke after uh, a year or two. And I was really disappointed. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to buy a Fire TV, see how it looks. And the picture looks great. Yeah, isn't it crazy that Twitch, the quality is so much better. You can actually see and it's not like blurry. It's really crazy to me that Twitch is, I guess Twitch is made for streaming better. Yeah, isn't that crazy how much nicer the Twitch stream is? Like, I'm surprised actually. Oh, it highlighted your mess. Oh, Okay. Ted, that's super awesome. So it's like when you made your message, it 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 did like a celebratory thing to say that you've been uh, a member of the channel for 19 months. That is awesome. That means you've been uh, supporting me every month to keep the channel going. So I, I really appreciate that, Ted. You rock. You are amazing. I love it. I love that they did that. That's like super awesome. Sweet. I love that bunch of you guys are going over there, uh, the Twitch. So with the Twitch stream, I will stream all the different content I do to it. So that if I'm on walks or if I'm on, you know, whatever, I'll try to get to go to Twitch as well. So there's just one place for you to kind of keep track of what I'm doing. Otherwise, it might get confusing. Um, the only thing is when I'm streaming, I just don't know how many people are in each room. <laughs> it doesn't tell me when I'm dual streaming. And I got to figure out a way to show everyone what everyone's saying in both rooms so you can keep track of who I'm talking to. Because <laughs> John keeps talking to me on the Twitch channel, but no one knows uh, what he's saying if you're on YouTube. Okay, I feel like I need to clean up the tapes. So because of that, I'm going to... Uh, here. Allison, can you just read the comments out as they come in? I'm going to try to hook this up so I can clean up the tape area a little bit. There we go. There we go. All right, there we go. I got to... 
by the way, my... It's past 11.06, so now my date is available again. Oh, if I need the fast upload stuff? Okay, that's good. I really want to get the, um, the streaming backpack, though, because I think I can use that. If I get the streaming backpack, I think I can use that to hook to my regular computer, too, so I can upload regular YouTube videos faster. And if I can do that, I'll do so much more content. When I do an hour 4K upload and I try to upload, it takes me 20 hours to upload it. And because of that, I just don't do videos anymore because I don't want to do lower quality videos. I want to do higher quality videos. All right, that tray is full. Oh, wait, no, this tray... I just want to get these trays pushed over because they're a mess. Also, what time is it? Uh, can we go to 7.30? You okay with that? Okay, we'll go to 7.30. So we'll go another 20 minutes or so. Oh, you know what I'll do? If you guys want me to keep streaming, I will just turn this... I, I won't put it on pop walks, but I'll just turn this into a pop walks type video. When Allison closes to go home, I'll just start walking. We'll take a walk for like half an hour so I can get a little exercise because I'm uh, I'm enjoying I, I you know I just love streaming I think it's super fun hanging out with you guys I'm just like I'm trying to get some work done I'm trying to organize I'm being productive while hanging out and um oh so twitch give you okay so that's a problem well, that's cool that I'm streaming on two places then uh, or what, maybe there's a setting that you need to do so it doesn't like shut off when you're on Twitch. That might be what it is. Not a hundred percent sure. I'm I've only been twitching for two days, so I'm not like a expert in it. Oh, uh, you know what? These some of these trees have room, so let me get these trays full. So at some point I had filled these trays full, so I probably sold 50 tapes, maybe. That's kind of what it feels like over here. Yeah, each, like this tray has room for two or three tapes, and then I had some middle tapes. So overall, if each tray I sold two or three, then I probably sold 50 tapes worth of all the trays. So that tray is full, that tray is full. Okay. That tray is full. This tray is full. And then I think the better tape trays are clearing out. So I'm kind of running out of better tapes. I might have to just do a really cheap like dollar each tape sale or something just to try to clear them out. And that's full. Yeah, because I don't remember what when that was, but if you guys remember like a month or two ago, I did a um, you know, I did a stream where I just organized all the tapes. So it's kind of nice to see that I've actually sold some since then. That there's room in all these trays. Uh, Jason just joined. Oh, hey, Jason. Jason uh, stay on till I get home. I just walked out of the marbles. Okay, I'll try my best. I know last time I got off right as you got home and you were disappointed. So uh, I plan on doing a turning this into kind of a pop walks so that I can walk around. Uh, with you guys for a little bit. Tina said the line keeps screeching over there. Okay, I wonder why that, that it does You know, on, um, I don't know. I'm really not sure. Maybe it's just because I'm in the back corner and I'm not getting as good of a signal. Okay, I'm just trying to get this at full capacity. That tray is full. Okay, these trays are all full. Well, I guess that's another cool reason to be streaming on two platforms in case one is not working so well. Okay, I'll put that there. And then uh, the smaller trays. I sold one in there. Okay. So one or two. Uh, that tray is 
three, four. Uh, one of my favorite things to do or happen sometimes is like once or twice a year, an artist will come through and want to do some kind of project with a whole bunch of tapes or VHS or a whole bunch of media. So I end up selling like, I don't know, like 50 or 100 for a buck or two. No, no, no usually like 50 cents maybe. 50 cents for like 100, so like 100 for 50 bucks. And it's like a great way to kind of clear out stuff that's harder to sell. And, and um, you know, they're going to destroy this stuff, which is a little bit concerning. But I also like when people take something that's like not so valuable anymore, or people aren't enjoying and turning it into something new and cool. I do kind of like that. So I think it's kind of awesome when people come in and buy a whole bunch of tapes to do a project with it. Inspiring. Yeah, it looks like I'm moving out one tray into all these other trays to condense. And it looks like so far I've almost sold out a full tray. Okay. Uh, maybe not a full tray, but like a good chunk of the tray is sold out. Okay, I think that area is pretty full. Okay, so I moved those back up there. Hello, Matt. Oh, it just went by too fast. Who said that? Matt, the H -H. Oh, okay. So marbles was moderate. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, Alexander, I'm not sure. It could have been an error. Or I think if you, you post too quickly, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm gonna move this tray over. Uh, oh, there's more room. Okay. All right, I would like to, uh, uh, I could put more tapes on the bottom. I would like to get the rest of the tapes on the bottom of the shelf there and just have that whole area cleared out. But so far I've been condensing and it looks like I've sold almost a full tray since the last time we condensed. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on the same channel, I think. Why? Yeah, I'm gonna pop walk on pop fun to play, basically. Uh oh, this corner is such a mess though. Arr. Okay, you know what? Let me I'm gonna take this random bit here, dump it in there. So that random catch all box is now full. Uh, let's put this over here. Oops, I gotta do that. And then this is stuff I want to get rid of. Okay. Slowly, slowly clearing out the back here. Okay. That. Oh. What? Oh. Uh, Allison likes her privacy. You can occasionally see her a little bit on streams and stuff, but... She doesn't want to be on camera, basically, because she doesn't want people harassing her. Uh, yeah, I've shipped lots of stuff to Germany. I've shipped all over the world. Yeah, Allison doesn't like to be on camera, so I, I respect her privacy. She accidentally gets on a little bit here and there, but not on purpose. <clears throat> okay, we'll put that... Okay, so we got rid of two random catch-all boxes. Let me just see... Uh, I just dumped this in here. There might be some junk in here. Uh, oh, that's an old uh, Blockbuster rental thing for uh, Stranger Than Fiction. Oh, and then there's, I'm just going to get rid of that. It's kind of hard to sell this without artwork. Oh, you know what that? This is a wind-up cat. I don't know if it lost its box. It's one of these guys right here. Do I have it priced individually? No, so it's one of these. It actually was supposed to be on this show. That's the problem. Sometimes people move our stuff around and it gets thrown around. Kind of is a mess. Uh, okay, I have this box. This was my better CD box, which um, I would like to restock, but I don't know how much more I have in, like, better CDs. And then the better cassette. It looks like people spread it around a little bit, so it's a mess. Got old, uh, Iron Man lunchbox probably from about 10 years ago, which I can put up top here. 
right there we go um Uh, oh, and the wall has lots of space, too. I'm looking at lots of spots. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, and rest probably about 20 tapes sold. I tried to put, like, the more noticeable names, so that makes sense. I would have sold about 20 on there. That's cool. Uh, which means I would like to pull out another 20 or so from the boxes. But I, whatever's left is probably just, like... Really oddball stuff that you really need to um, know what's here to really, like, you know, it's not mainstream stuff. You know, m and Blink-182 is long gone. I don't have any of that left. Hey, GT Key Comic. Henry Comic Jr. on the wall. So I think overall I've probably sold 100 tapes since the last time we did it. So that's like a couple hundred bucks. Not too bad. It's not, I'm not getting rich off of it, but it's uh, it's still moving. keeps moving a little bit every every week. Dr. Seuss, put down the wall. I think I actually have one more box in the basement I got to bring up too. But I've been trying to wait for this corner to clear out because I'm kind of sick of the piles. Okay, this box, I'm making a little trash pile right here to get rid of. And then... Uh, what is on here? I really want to get rid of this milk crate. I don't like milk crates. Oh, and then this was a cassette bin that I um, was trying to clear out. Which, uh, I should be able to move a bunch into the tray right here. Let me reuse this tray. Well, this tray is a little bit dusty. So I'm going to dump the dust outside and then uh, refill this up. Dump the dust. Dump the dust. Allison, what time is it? 7.20. 7.20, okay. 10 more minutes in the shop. Uh, Allison, can you just help me with a few of the last jobs here? Okay, just, um, can you bring this box inside to recycle it? Yeah, well, I, I mean, I want to just leave at 7.30, so I need it done before we close. Unless you want to do it while we're closing, when I'm not here. I just figure it'll be easier when I'm here. Okay, let's try to get this tray filled. I want to, on this shelf here, I want to fill that full of cassettes. Oh, here. Joe Cocker and Aaron Neville, like, put on the wall. Two sort of known names. If I see any tapes I recognize the artists, I'll just pull them out. Thank you, Tina. It does feel like I'm making a little progress. Uh, I really, I want to clear out a lot of the shop, though, so I can restock. That's, like, my main goal in the next couple weeks. Just so that by the time we get to uh, December, I want to um, have a lot of cool stuff for Christmas. Uh, oh, that just, oh, it's been sitting here. I think it's a old, uh, I think it's a... Funko? No, it's just some Toy Factory Batman. It's a little bit dirty. If you want it, Ted, if you want a, a product, I'll just throw it in your next package. If you want that guy. Things get kind of... What happens is things kind of get lost in the void. <laughs> things get lost after time in the void of the store because there's just too much in here. Yeah, the sideshow box is recycling, and I mean, even if you just want to flatten it. I think I'm at the point, though, where I probably have to do just a big cassette tape sale and see if I can clear out a big chunk for cheap. Because I don't think there's a lot of um, just enjoyable stuff. Oh, that's really cool. That's where your name comes from, Stanley Swagger. That's actually really neat. All right, I'll add it. I'll add it. I'll add this to your. I mean, it's not bad, but he just he needs a little, 
love and care, I think. All right, this is the Ted pile right there. Uh, this is the kind of job you gotta do for like an hour a day and then that's it. Otherwise, it just it gets exhausting too fast. This is the kind of job I need um, my robot for. Once I have a robot to sit here organizing this stuff, so I don't have to do tedious jobs anymore. It will be worth spending $20,000 to get a robot to sort cassettes to sell for a couple hundred bucks. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. I am so silly. I put all this effort into trying to sell stuff. is isn't like a huge profit maker, but I love old pop culture. I love just trying to keep it alive and having a spot that people who do love it still can go and get it, enjoy it, collect it. So I don't mind... Um, you know, this kind of stuff I like doing more just for the history of it and to keep it alive than because it's a huge profit maker. Okay, I'm just trying to get this. Uh, okay, the Lone Ranger. Up on the wall. Just trying to find a few things up on the wall that are like a little bit more noticeable or a little bit more popular. And then some of these cassettes are just broken that it's uh, probably not worth me trying to piece them together. So I got to toss them. I don't like tossing stuff, but some stuff just gets broken up and you just, you have to deal with it. Uh, I didn't recognize the brand. Okay, take care, Brandon. I didn't recognize the brand on the plush, but it's an older one from probably about 12 years ago, 10 years ago. I bought it from someone who was clearing out their storage unit. So I just, like, a, there's kind of an explosion of crap in the back corner here from this whole collection of stuff that I bought from someone that were just, they had to close their storage unit. So I've just been slowly selling it. And now I'm at the point where some of it I just got to get rid of. I do. That's one thing. I do like to try when I can. I like to um, provide the ability for people to get rid of stuff. I wish it was easier, and I wish I'd sold more of it, but I know it helps certain people out when they don't have the time or energy to sell it themselves, and they need to get rid of it. So I like to be able to get them some kind of value for this stuff. Like I say, if I was in this business just for the cash, I would sell you know lottery tickets, cigarettes, booze, all the stuff that people have vices for that they'll just keep buying. Okay, that tree, our tray is full. I'm gonna put it on the bottom shelf. Okay, one tray down here. Okay, one full tray. Uh, what is in here? All right, I'm gonna grab some of the G.I. Joe stuff for the G.I. Joe bins. This and that bin. Right, some of this. And some stuff here I'm probably willing to get rid of. Uh, Legos, I gotta just bundle up into one like big Lego bundle to get rid of it. Okay, turn this out a little bit. Got uh, some Walking Dead trading cards. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I already said goodnight. I saw that message a few minutes ago. Uh, cassettes are becoming more collectible, I think. I feel like in the last uh, year or so, cassettes have been selling a bit better. Or more people are looking for them. Oh, I know. I just put it down for a second as I moved the tray. Allison's giving me direction that my camera work was terrible. I am sorry. Sorry I was pointing at the floor. Okay, put a little bit on the wall. Okay. And it would be nice to get rid of the one box because the box doesn't really work. Oh, you know what? I found trays the other day. I didn't bring them in. That's what I'll have to do um, next week. I know I found some trays, so I can actually clear out this box and the tray. I'd rather have in trays because it's easier to dig through than in the boxes. Because when they're piled up multi-level in the boxes, it just becomes a giant mess. And when I have a few CD boxes. Uh, and then all this shelf parts I have here. You know why? 
Because uh, two years ago when I put the shelves in, I was going to keep going. And I just ran out of the cash. I wanted to cover the whole back wall with shelves. Cover that whole wall with shelves. And do this whole middle with shelves. So instead of having the DVD racks... I wanted to have it like these shelves right here, which is on my to-do list. I just haven't had time to do it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put Brandon's box away. I'm gonna put Ted's couple things in it. So back up on the ladder. Okay, put that away. All right. All right, these boxes also need to get out of here. Time to clear out the clutter. Scandinavia phone call news said I have to go at 1.30 a.m. Ooh, that's late. See you in the next stream. Okay. All right, good night. Take care. Sleep well. Oh, where did I, where was the power? I'm gonna put up here. Right here, all right. All right, I'm thinking uh, tomorrow I'm going to have to... What connection is your phone in? Uh, it should still be good for another half an hour. So I have Pop Fuzz the Robots. Those are Kenner starting the lineup. Uh, hockey figures. That's a case of Ahsoka Tano's. That's a case of Ahsoka Tano's Hot Toys. Uh, I think one of those boxes is bootlegs. One is just like random toys I just never had time to deal with uh ahsoka tano's ahsoka tano's storage. it's storage it's just storage for the the duplicate stuff that's an empty box for the et that's uh i'm not sure what star wars figure that is that's a hot toy of some sort though uh that's more the last resort art toys and that's just more random just stuff that we have in the shop that's just extras lots of good extra stuff I just, I don't have enough room to put it all out at once. And I also, I don't like to put too much of the same thing out. Cause then if people see 30, they're like, oh, I can just get it whenever I want. They don't like, I like it when they only see one or two and they're like, oh, I have to get it. I have to get it now before they sell out. Okay. I'm going to put this up. Said good Who did? JG. Oh, JG. Good evening. strong okay Whew. oh i got one more robot box i want to get rid of all right let's all right yeah just more of the more of the same 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 everywhere every corner there's more uh more pop fuzz the robots i think this is pop fuzz the robots in there or something i don't know it's just extra stuff that one's empty that one's empty this is that's just a whole bunch of duplicate funko pops uh when you buy and sell stuff sometimes you just buy and sell too much stuff and it loads up overloads uh here i'm gonna go up there so i can put a um one more pop fuzz the robot case up i don't like to go too high because i don't want to be something that falls down uh, i need to do these kind of streams more often to keep the store cleaner Yeah. Tell you the truth, just organizing and cleaning, like, I don't enjoy it that much. But when we're hanging out with you guys, it's like, it's 10 times more fun because I'm answering questions and I'm distracted by conversation. When did Lions fans say they were going to be ready or Who, what? Curtis? Uh, he said like in a week or two, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't seen him since. But...
Okay. This box I think I want to get rid of. Alright, Allison, can I have you do a few things? Okay. Hey, Funko Pop Asylum, how are you? Oh, sweet. So now my cleaning is helping motivate your cleaning. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. Uh, oh, I, Gotham City Comics. Kevin? Yeah. Okay. I got to remember. I'm really bad at finding names. I need a Kevin name to, to make me remember your name. But that's amazing that you're cleaning. Kevin the Minion? The Minion. All right. I'll have to imagine Gotham City Comics as a the Kevin the Minion cleaning up his shop in Arizona. Then I'll remember. <laughs> okay, I gotta just throw this catch all on the shelf. Just so that it, um, catch all on the shelf. The trash. Oh, Kevin, like, ah, dirty shop. I can remember that as well. I like that. That's a good one, Alfred. Right. Yeah, Home Alone, Kevin. Okay, I like it. I can just imagine you going like, ah! ah, what is this? This is a uh, cool looking. I need to make a little stack of stuff for my friend Raul. That's for him. I'm just going to give it to him. And this is for him. These two are for, can you put these to the side? These are for Raul next time he's here. You just can give it to him. Just for free? Yeah, for free. <sighs> okay. I need a good sweep over here, too. It's a mess. The only problem is that you clean up and people that come through the shop make a giant mess. So it's kind of... Unless you have an employee that can do it all day long. Um, yeah, that's it is super cool. Super cool old vintage stuff. Uh, that can just go with... No, wait. Is that... Oh, is that the video game stray? That actually might be a little bit collectible. And some random glove. I don't need to keep a random glove that someone left here. Okay, uh, I think this is, this is falling apart. I need to find someone who wants American Girl doll stuff and give it to them or something. Because it's in pieces. Okay, I'll throw that over there. And this, uh, Barbie doll stuff needs to be organized. Uh, 1960s character. All right, I need the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Allison's like, what is Tina talking about? The thing I just pulled out. The thing I pulled out for Raul. Okay, there we go. Floor looks better over here. It's not perfect, but there's like a little bit more space. I, uh, oh. One more tape box right here. That, um. Okay, I'm gonna pull these out. Winona Judd. Oh, no, oh, there's good tapes here, actually. All right, this, uh, most of these are going to go on the wall, actually. Good uh, country stuff. League of Their Own soundtrack. Uh, Donna Summers. James Taylor. The Saturday, Saturday morning show. So that was a that was a um a time machine for Tina's mind. She's like, I remember seeing that when I was little. I love when stuff does that. Okay, uh Alright, let me oh I have a Swiffer over here. At some point I was cleaning up the shelf and I left it and then I forgot about it. Again, more American Girl doll randomness. Uh, these random bids I'm just gonna have to clear out sometime soon. This I can get rid of. It's an old Photoshop elements. That I don't know if it's still, uh, I don't know if that still works or not. Got rid of that. Okay. It would be nice to have this back corner. What is this? A little suitcase necklace? I could probably get rid of that. Again, there's still kind of a leftover here from that one collection of stuff I bought like a year ago. And I just never got around to fully organizing it. So I just let people dig at it for over a year but now it's just like it's time to clear it out and make room for other stuff that's more sellable okay okay this is what i do when um when i swiffer a really 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 dirty shelf 
So this is covered in dust. I bring it outside and I just smack it against the pole so that the dust gets knocked off so I can keep using it. And then, like I said, I gather like 20 or 30 at a time, I end up washing them. This, I just, I just go like this. And just try the knock. Or if I have a vacuum handy, I vacuum it. I think I have the vacuum in the basement at the minute though. Okay, so I just hit that, knock the dust off. That makes it a little bit more usable. Okay. Go back this way. All right. Oh, welcome home, Jason. Okay. Oh, hey, Eddie. How are you? 7.38. Okay, can I just give you two jobs to do so I can leave? Can you... Um, okay, here's the list of jobs. The two boxes of VHS I want to put on that shelf. Um, these two boxes of things here are for the trash. Just bring it in the hallway, then deal with it later. Um, this crate goes to the basement. Uh, this box is trash. Uh, this box, I need to find room on the bottom shelf. And then... Tomorrow when you open up, if you can get the rest of these bins up onto the shelf somewhere. Uh, try to be productive. I was feeling really good. I had like a little pop in my shoulder. I felt good, but then I think I unpopped it again while moving too much. <laughs> Here's the problem. I always have to go at a thousand speed. I've been out of commission, so I just wanted to catch up on all the mess. I feel like we I cleaned up a good amount though. Okay, Allison, you, you know what you got to do? I will try. Okay, she'll try her best. Got my keys. Okay, we're going to go walk around the neighborhood for half an hour. Uh, yeah, give me a $5 bill in case I need a drink or something. I might get a coffee or something. Or chocolate milk or something. I don't know what I want. Five bucks, just in case. All right. Whew, that was exhausting, but I organized. I think, Jason, you want to come help me sort comics in the shop this weekend, right? That's the next big project. Oh, let me, before I walk away, I'll show you the next big project I got to tackle. I have, uh, in the front here, I have eight to ten boxes of comics I really need to get priced out just so that I can clear out the front again so it's usable space. Right now, it's like no one can shop. And also, when you're walking down the street, all you see is piles of boxes. I really need to knock those out. Thank you, John. Thank you. Okay. We're going to walk around. What do you guys want to chat about? Ask me anything. It's an Ask Me Anything stream now. As it becomes a pop walk around the neighborhood... Um, yeah, sure. Tomorrow sounds good. I'll see how my arm feels. I might have to put you to a high, high level of carrying. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I have two boxes of a lot of duplicates that have to be brought to the basement. And then uh, everything else, I think, and a lot of bag of boarding and semi-sorting so I can price out like one, like all the web of Spider-Man or, you know, one set of stuff at a time. Just makes it a little bit easier. All right, uh, I sort of want to get coffee, but I don't want caffeine right now. It's getting too late for caffeine. But I am kind of thirsty. I don't know, what should I get? I don't even know what I want to drink right now. Maybe a lemonade? I think I want a lemonade. Let's do that. You know what? You know what I want? If they're still open, I want a Japanese um, lemonade. I mean, um, tea. Japanese tea in a can from the Japanese store. I love the canned uh, tea and coffee that they make. Okay, so I, I think the chat still goes way too slow when I'm dual streaming like this. So I don't know how fast I see your posts. So I'll try to answer them when I see them, but I'm still, I gotta figure out how to do this dual streaming thing while I can also read all the text and messages. I really, really, really wanna get that streaming backpack thing so i was looking into the price the streaming backpack it has uh for fourteen hundred dollars it has the actual encoder the encoder will let me stream at 4k 60 frames per second at 20 megabits per second yeah midoriya that's where i'm heading right now uh, okay okay so it was it was a good mid-tier marvel movie Okay, I, I, I am looking forward to it because I do really love the Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel character. Uh, Captain Marvel's okay. I don't like her in the comics. 
Uh, shops like mine are rare anywhere. You need a crazy person like me that absolutely loves pop culture, that's willing to sacrifice decent income for a job that they absolutely love. Right? As I say, I said earlier today, if I was in it just for the money, we would have uh, you know, a whole <laughs> shop full of uh, beer and cigarettes and lottery tickets. I love old pop culture though, so as long as I can do my best to earn a living doing it, I'm going to keep doing it. It's not the most lucrative job because, you know, I'm selling cassette tapes for two bucks, but I'm not looking to cash in on the most lucrative hot thing. I just want, I like keeping pop culture alive. I love keeping it a, a place for the people that love it that can come and dig and pull out some stuff. I just wish I had a way to cycle through the the cheaper stuff a little bit faster. Yeah, no, I grew up in, you know, I grew up in the 80s, but when I was by the late 90s, eight mid the late 90s, I would, um, well, first I would come into the city all the time to go to St. Mark's Place to dig through the record shops, looking for cool records and, or cool CDs and whatnot. I love St. Mark's Place back then because they had like 10 or 12 different cool CD shops there record CD shops. Uh, and then I went to college at NYU. I went to the uh, business, the school of business, Stern School of Business School. I forget what you call it. <laughs> uh, well, let's see, they've gone the other way, right? Because Disney Plus had Loki come in and Scarlet Witch. Um, Photon was technically in the Captain Marvel movie first. K well, K no, Kang first showed up in... Well, yeah, I guess it was Loki that Kang first showed up. Yeah, I, well, whatever. They're all kind of connected now. One way or the other. Yeah, I'm old, right? Ted, are you older or am I older? Well, I forget when your birthday is. Your birthday... I want to say it's May, but I forget. I forget if Ted is like older than me by a month or two or younger. Or like practically the same age. I was fun. I was doing a pop walk stream yesterday and someone asked me how old I was. They guessed 35 years old. It felt like an awesome compliment. I want to be 30. I want people to think I'm 35 for the next 35 years. Or at least 12 years younger. When I'm 80, people are like, oh, you're 60, right? That's what I love. So this is the fun Midoriya Japanese store. I'm gonna get a can of unsweetened tea. There's something about Japanese food I really enjoy. Sorry. Can I just squeeze past you? I wanna get the drinks. Alright, I wanna beer, got Boss Coffee, Coffee, uh, oh. I forget what the tea is, I do really like the coffee, so I don't know if I want a coffee right now though, those are beers, oh gosh, okay, some of the stuff I'm just not sure what it is, maybe I'll just get a lemon drink of some sort. I'm gonna get whatever that is with the cherry on it. It looks like some sweet cherry drink, melon flavor. I'm gonna try that. That's what I wanna try. Oh, Fort G.I. Joe is amazing. Okay, let's get that. Hello. 10 out of 10. Alright, thank you so much. You too. A 10 out of 10. Got a nice, sweet Japanese music playing while I'm in the shop. It sounded lovely. I'm going to give it 10 out of 10 readings. 10 out of 10. Don't know who it is, but I liked it. 10 out of 10. That's, so, G.I. Joe is my all time favorite toy line. 
I absolutely loved it as a kid, so I still absolutely love it. Uh, in 2006, when I sold all my movies to help pay for the store, I did spend like three or $4,000 on G.I. Joe. So I have a pretty decent G.I. Joe collection. I just haven't seen it in like 15 years or 18 years. Um, but G.I. Joe is amazing. I remember going to my friend Matt's house. He got the, um, the flag for Christmas one year. He was like kind of a rich kid. And uh, it was amazing just playing with it. And then I remember, I didn't know, but in his closet, he had the headquarters just put away, like shoved away to make room for the flag. I'm like, no, I want to play with the headquarters too. I want to park the tank and the, the Jeep and stuff. Yeah, no, I don't want to drink a beer right now. Oh, that sounds awesome, Jason. Oh, this, this tastes like melon. This is interesting. It tastes like a juiced cantaloupe. Oh, that's kind of fun. It doesn't taste like artificial. It tastes like actual cantaloupe. I love that. I love getting food from Japan. I bet this is actual sugar and not high fructose corn syrup. No, it is high fructose corn syrup. Dang it. That's all right, though. It tastes delicious. It tastes delicious. I was looking, I couldn't see the, the tea I normally get. I don't know if they changed the can or just another, um, or they were just out of it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, um, I'm a, well, I was born in the 70s, but I don't really have many 70s memories. So I'm more of an 80s kid. I did play with some of my brother's toy. I had a, a Shogun Warrior Godzilla. That's one of my all-time favorite. And that's also something I bought a mitten box one in like 2005. Um, I play with a lot of Mego figures, but you know, those three and three fourths GI Joes are the ones that were absolutely my favorite. If I had space and I was rich, I'd put together a complete collection of all of them. Um, there was a woman, I think she had to sell the collection because she got cancer and needed money for the treatment, but she put together the most amazing complete GI Joe collection probably like 15 years ago. Maybe 10 years ago. Uh, Air Darwin, I think. Air Darwin was her forum tag. Uh, music's 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. No, actually, it sounds like a good song. 8 out of 10 music. 8 out of 10. Uh, but So there's a 10-part documentary on YouTube of her collection. That was amazing. Oh, wow. You got a flag last year almost complete. That's amazing. My mom bought one at a garage sale in, like, 2001. Or 2000 she sold it i was like oh man i wanted it she got pretty good money i think she sold it for a couple hundred bucks at the time but i just didn't have a space for it i kind of wish i bought one when there were still a couple hundred bucks in the box but uh you know it's huge you know the the shogun warriors godzilla is one of the greatest toys of all time i have one in my living room in the cabinet i have it out of its box but it's complete with its box the box is amazing. I love the Shogun Warriors in general. I have a full set of them. Yeah, the flag is the aircraft carrier. Thing's huge. In New York City, it would cost you $1,500 a month to keep it. Like, you could get one probably pretty complete for, you know, $1,000, $1,500 with the box. But then you'd have to spend another $1,500 a month just to have a, a space for it. <laughs> you need to be out west somewhere or, or, like, in a suburb somewhere where you can afford the space to have it. I would love to have that though. I had I'm trying to think of what I, I bought though. I did buy a Rolling Thunder, which is that big ass giant twin missile system. And like, I think I've broken it because it was just in the way for the last 15 years. So I just shove it wherever I can find space for it. <laughs> um, that's also one of the toys I bought. It was the, maybe it was one of those, I forget, there was one vehicle that came out in 88 or 89 that was like a big cannon with a little truck in the front and a little truck in the back that would separate i remember buying one of those at the like the odd job store for cheap and playing with it a little bit but that was like when i considered that i was an adult or a grown-up not playing with toys it's so funny i bought so many toys when i was in my teens thinking i wasn't a toy buyer anymore yeah that godzilla was one of the greatest toys ever all right Store in Ted's basement. Yeah. That's what I need. I need just a big giant space for my collection. That's right. I'm going to keep streaming. Keep pushing along. Hopefully there's enough people that enjoy my streams. 
because the um the main channel here just dies every time i do a live stream people leave and they're like ah i don't want to watch this guy if he's not doing big awesome edited funko pop hauls but you know i'm kind of sick of funko pops you know i'm still keeping all my rare ones but it's not something i'm going on my way to get i am also trying to build the twitch channel because on twitch then i can use it maybe to do some gaming i was thinking of doing a twitch stream where all i do is look on ebay for shit if you guys enjoy that if you guys would enjoy me looking for stuff online as a, a live stream i could do that look in japan and and italy and stuff i love hunting down really cool stuff and then uh I don't know. I want to get the Twitch channel going a little bit to see if it can grow itself. My biggest problem with YouTube right now is it doesn't grow anymore. I, it's really hard. It used to be when I did YouTube in 2015, 2016 through 2019 or so. You just do content and you would get people to come in and the algorithm would promote you and you would grow. It feels like a lot of channels don't grow anymore. You see a lot of old time YouTubers that are kind of stuck at the same level or slowly losing and it's just like it's kind of demotivating all right john ford on uh, twitch he's all for me twitch hunting i'll do that okay i'll do that I'll, i will i have to figure out how to twitch from my computer and i'll do some um online junk hunts i would love to do that oh boulder hill was the um mass set right i love boulder hill i might have parts of that somewhere Yeah, I have a ton of, of the toys. I, uh, oh, I just missed some chat. Uh, oh, did someone... Who said about the mask cartoon? I loved the mask cartoon as a kid. The mask is also one of my all-time favorites. It was only out for about a year or two. But I absolutely love mask. I don't have a ton of the toys, though. That's one of the things I would love to collect more of. Luckily, they've never really gone up in too much price. You can still get mitt-in-the-box mask vehicles for like 100 bucks. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to set up sometime soon to um, uh, what <laughs> Jason, I don't know. I don't know if we'll go back to MySpace. I remember MySpace. It's crazy. You think there's some like 35 year olds that are like nostalgic for MySpace era? Why did we all abandon MySpace? I kind of liked MySpace. You would set up your wall. It felt more like interactive. I think I only went to Facebook because family was there, I guess. I forget. Maybe uh, MySpace was not interactive enough. But yeah, okay, so I'll... You guys, if you want to watch me hunt for stuff online spend like a few hours a couple times a week online hunting for stuff uh i, I will set that up on twitch i think that would be a really fun twitch stream for me because i love honestly my default mode is to spend hours digging through websites looking for stuff to buy but then most of the time i don't buy it because i don't have that much money to buy it but sometimes i go a little crazy oh christopher yes i think i have one tombstone pop on hold for you in the shop in one of the boxes. Oh yeah, DC did the mass comic. You're correct. You are correct. I don't know. No, I did watch the cartoon. I really liked the cartoon. Maybe that's it. Maybe it was just too much advertising. I don't know. I didn't use MySpace that much. So yeah, if anyone who doesn't follow me on Twitch, my Twitch is Pop Fuzz. Uh, I'm still new there, so I'm trying to hit. They have what I really like about Twitch is they have these little mini goals that you can hit to like strive for, like ten people chatting at once. So if you guys want to go on my Twitch real quick and just leave a comment, that would be amazing. David, that would be awesome coming to my shop and just digging. And I'll give you a good price, too. If you make the trip out, I'll give you a good discount on the pile of stuff you find. Actually, right now, while the shop is kind of slow in November, it's a good month to negotiate with me a bit. 
because I'm in like a clear stuff out mode. This is crazy just talk like I need to figure out how to get the chat on the screen from both streams so you guys can see what each other are saying. <laughs> I got people on Twitch talking, people on YouTube. It's like Inception. Oh, I was talking about the streaming backpack. I, I do want to get it because it's... I was looking. It's like $1,400 for the encoder. What the encoder does is it um, encodes so that it sends out a signal at... Uh, I think it's... You can do 4K 60 frames a second at 20 megabit a second upload. Hello, Jason. Hello. Thank you, Ted. I'm not sure exactly how many people I need the, the chat on Twitch, but I think my current goal was five people at once saying hello. So there's, we got three, three hellos. Three hellos. Yeah, Ted was visited the shop last week. He got, he didn't get too much time to chat with me because my friend Raul was there. And when Raul was there, he just chats my ear off. And then, um, and I did give Ted a good deal. And then, uh, I think it's something like $250 of, no, it's, I think it's $450 for two modems that you hook up to the encoder and each modem creates a cell connection. And what's cool about the setup is it will switch between different networks to try to optimize whatever's the best connection. And you can hook up, you can actually get four of them. Uh, I think the two is... 150 or two? No, it's 250 a month, I think, for the service. And then if you do four, it's like 450 a month for the service. But basically, it's like you get four super fast cell services connecting to all the different networks jumping around. So it's like you can stream very, very uh, it, like the signal will be perfect because it's getting the best of all the different services and. Um, Oh, the car service? Oh, that's crazy. So yeah, the, the in-life uh, streaming uh, backpack sounds super awesome. Oh, is that my friend Spencer? Spencer? It was you. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> that was my friend Spencer. He doesn't like to be on stream, so. <laughs> I wonder why he reacted for a second. Uh, by the, the 90s, I wasn't really watching cartoons so much anymore. Yeah, Mass is still a very affordable retro toy line. I think that's one reason why I never went crazy buying all of it. Um, so on Twitch, I think there's actual a paid subscription. Not You can follow. I don't think you can subscribe. I think it's a paid subscription. And I don't think I can do that until I have a certain amount. But you should be able to hit follow. There should be a follow button that lets you follow me. Which I think... John, does the blue crown mean you're following? Or that just means you've been on... I forget. I've, the little icons, I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, I think it's just a follow button, not a um, subscribe. Oh yeah, if you have Amazon Prime, you should be able to subscribe to me and I'll actually get paid as if you paid for the subscription. But I have to get to the actual partnership, which I think I have to, I have to hit like certain goals, like stream every day for like 12 days or um, get the 50 followers, something like that. So that's what we're working on. We're working on getting the Twitch channel big enough that I can turn on the actual um, the partnership stuff. So I might make a little income on it. Oh, Blue Crown means Prime member. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so if you guys are Prime members, you'll be able to uh, subscribe to my Twitch once I actually get the Twitch working. And then that will actually pay me whatever the $5 or whatever that but i have to get big enough before i can actually do that 
Something we'll work on together as a team. Teamwork. Teamwork so that I can get to the, uh, the backpack. I wanna get to the streaming backpack so we can go crazy. Yeah, you're, okay, so you're a Prime member. That's why I keep seeing it. Hey, super villains forever. Okay, I just got my 20% notification. So we got another 10 or 15 minutes of streaming before um, it, it goes dead. Which we'll keep going until my signal just dies out. We gotta look in here. This is a normal pop. Oh wow, all the books are gone. Someone wiped them out. All right, eight hours of streaming, seven different days. All right, so we passed the three viewers definitely today. Yeah, I, I barely use Twitch. I think I follow um, Dawn Matigue. I watch her draw comics occasionally. I follow two or three cosplayers that play games. I enjoy their voices. And uh, that Mr. Keem now, I follow him because I found him very entertaining and he motivated me to Twitch. And um, yeah, so I need 50 followers. How about you guys all go on the Twitch right now and follow me so I can get to the 50 followers. You don't have to watch me on Twitch, but just follow me so I can get activated on Twitch. And then seven different days, I've done three days now streaming on Twitch. I'm gonna just, whatever channel I'm on streaming, I'll just turn it on to do Switch so I can have a Switch. And then what I'll end up doing is I'll probably make Switch its own, I mean, uh, Twitch its own thing so that I can, uh, you know, do other fun things on there. Yeah, I'll probably do a uh, stream sometime this weekend in the shop. I would like to get more organized. I probably won't stream on Jason's there because honestly, I just enjoy hanging out with Jason. And uh, I don't know, I get, I get a lot of fulfillment just hanging out with Jason. So I probably won't stream tomorrow when Jason's there helping me, unless Jason wants to be on the stream. But then I'm talking to you guys. I kind of like to give my focus to Jason when he's there. Uh, but uh, probably on uh, Sunday maybe, if not Monday for sure. Because I still need to um, catch up and get my record guy paid. And I have to uh, pay my electric bills and I have to pay my uh, a couple other bills. So I need to do some more whatnot. I might try to do a, um, a Instagram a claim sale just to see if that works. Because I feel like whatnot's kind of dying and there's all the controversy and stuff. All right, Super Villains Forever. Thank you. appreciate it. Oh, Ted, thank you. I appreciate that too. That would be amazing. Because if I can get the 50, then, you know, it unlocks partnership and then i can figure out what i can do on twitch that'll be super fun because honestly i would love the like especially the days if i don't feel good or i um i don't feel like walking because my legs or my shoulders hurting or whatever uh maybe i can just hop on twitch and do something fun with you guys and still hang out i love the idea of hunting for stuff online while you guys hang out because honestly i find some really amazing stuff sometimes and i can maybe expose you guys to looking for stuff in more places or just enjoy looking at more stuff and then uh maybe i could even do some gaming streams because i do play games daily i do a lot of uh magic the gathering arena i try to do my daily missions i do um entropia universe i do that uh not daily i usually just check in i only do daily if it's i'm grinding and uh Oh, Angela, that's awesome. Oh, Angela, that's super awesome. Angela, if, if you're on Twitch, oh no, you're on TikTok. TikTok, yeah, so TikTok, let me know what your TikTok is. I'll follow you. Oh, I'm at 28 followers, amazing. You guys are awesome. Angela, I started a TikTok too. I don't know what to do on TikTok, but I'm PopFuzzNYC on TikTok. All right, awesome, John. That's a very good, strong stream. I have a feeling that Twitch, its algorithm will be way better for streaming. I think on the actual Twitch algorithm, I'll be able to be a lot more successful doing it. Which is, uh, which is good. I, all I want to do is content that actually gets people interested and it grows. So that I can eventually hit a goal of actually achieving my dreams. Right? My dreams aren't so much to make a huge fortune online, but my dreams are to be able to do it full time. Right? If I could just do walk around the, the world hunting for comics and toys and then do streams where I hang out with you guys and stuff, like that would make me so happy. And being able to afford space to put it all in so I could do it proper. 
But to do that, I probably need like five or 10 grand a month, <laughs> maybe more. So that's like, yikes, that's a lot of stream. I mean, that's a lot of people watching. So at the same time, that might be a little bit overwhelming just to have so many people at once. But I hope I get there, honestly. That's why I was really inspired by uh, Mr. Kim. He had 700 people following him walk around the neighborhood. Yeah, I have a feeling that walk and talks will do a lot better on Twitch than on YouTube. Because honestly, every time I stream on YouTube, on the main channel, I lose a few people. I guess they don't want to see streaming. Uh, obviously, Pop Walks, I gain a few people, which is amazing because people are there just for the streaming. But I have a feeling Twitch will be the kind of thing where if I get 20 or 30 people watching, then the algorithm will start promoting it. And that's all I want. I want to be able to do streams where I just set up, do what I'm doing, what I love to do, and then have just an audience kind of grow on its own naturally without working so hard at it. I just don't want to be spamming people like, come follow me here, follow me there. You know, I kind of want just to grow on its own. But thank you for everyone that went over the Twitch to follow me because that's a, a pretty huge increase today, right? I think I started at 14, so if we doubled in one stream, that's amazing. Hey, GT Key Comic. Hey, Lance. Hi. Hello, hello. All right, let's go over to the waterfront. See how well the stream... Uh, if anyone who has my contact or on Instagram, if I disconnect, just let me know. Because I can't really tell if it disconnects or not. Just send me a quick message and say, oh, you disconnected. Because when I'm dual streaming, it doesn't let me know if the um, the quality, if it disconnects or whatnot. It's a little bit chilly now. You hear the wind, right? That's because we're getting by the water. Oh, and the street, it is street candy night. That's one thing when we're on pop walks. You know what though? If you guys didn't know, this neighborhood got flooded really badly like a month ago. I forget the exact date, but there's a really bad floods in New York. And this neighborhood had like a foot of water or more. There's some parts I saw videos where it was like waist high. I haven't really seen as many street candy pirates since. So uh, Alice and I have a theory that a lot of them probably got drowned in that big water storm. So the, the population just fell apart or shrunk. Because I just, I mean, I still see a couple, but I'm not seeing bags of like a hundred of them jumping around anymore. Oh, I just, uh, oh, Ted, are you going? I just, I missed everyone's chat. Good night, Ted. If you're going, good night. Uh, I, um, dang it, I can't scroll up. That's my only problem with this chat. If it goes too fast, it all comes in at once. And I can't see what everyone just said. I, I don't know how to fix that. I wish I could figure out how to fix that. Because I want to see what you guys all said. I'm just, I'll, I'll go back and read everyone's chat after the stream though. Because I do like to see what everyone wants to say. But yeah, Street Candy Pirates. Alright, see you Ted. If you're heading out, thank you for hanging out on both streams. That was amazing of you. I really appreciate you. Ooh, it's cold over here. All right, the stream is going pretty strong still, so I think we're okay for the waterfront. We can see the beautiful waterfront. I wonder if we could go on the pier and sit. We'll give it a test. Give it a test. Oh, you know what? I'm still on wide. Let me go to normal mode because the um, it's getting it's dark. And you can see there. There we go. Now you can see better. It's not zoomed out, but you can see better. I forgot we we're walking in the dark this whole freaking time. The city is so beautiful. This is the one thing, like, it's so expensive to live in this neighborhood, but if you do, you get to just take a walk over here and look at the beautiful skyline every day if you want to, which is gorgeous. Empire State Building is not colored up tonight. Oh, we learned that we can zoom in into all the fly. All right, let's look at the, the there's a, um, there's a drone or something. it's a helicopter helicopter looking for the ufos Look yeah it's gonna get crazier so i'm gonna have to find a way to um to uh have a separate phone to read the chat that would be part of the plan yeah it is so gorgeous the city I know it's hard to hear because it is super windy over here and I don't have a proper microphone, which sucks. So 
and turn the volume down. Turn the volume down and just look at the beautiful view. Um, I feel safe. I feel very safe over here. I, I, it's really rare. Like occasionally, I'll feel a little bit unsafe, but for the most part, I feel safe in this neighborhood. Yeah, it's always very busy. And as I say, like if I feel scared within a block, there's like plenty of businesses open I can run into. If it was all boarded up and like there's no one around, it would be terrifying. I think. I think it looks like the stream is still going pretty good out on the pier. That's awesome. We got some ferries. I um. If we look this way, we can wave at Jason. Oh, I don't. I feel like I still see. I'm gonna be I can't believe I can see. Jason's in that direction. Hi, Jason. <laughs> I don't think I can see his bridge though. Oh, look, this dude is for fishing. People always ask me, there's someone fishing. He's having a fun time fishing. How cool is that? Got a, a boat. Dawson loves the boats. Yeah, New York City is oh, an awesome city. I absolutely love living here. There's always something to do. It's just beautiful. Uh, I don't know how you could be bored in the city. The only problem, you could be bored if you don't have enough money because it's expensive. But it's like always something to do. <laughs> Thanks for waving back, Jason. <laughs> All right, let me get out of the wind so you guys can hear me again because it is very windy over here. Yeah, so I live, you know, this neighborhood, I don't know, what is there a few hundred thousand people? A million people? I have no idea. So it's not like I know anyone, honestly. <laughs> I did walk by one of my good friends, though, which he know he saw me. He's about to say, oh, hey, Sean. But then he realized I was streaming. He's like, oh, no, I can't be on YouTube. Oh, sweet. P, P. Dempsey, thank you for uh, going on the Twitch. Yeah, no, I, I honestly... So, I don't like crowds of people either. They make me super uncomfortable. Um, but what I do like... Oh, is that... All right, we got a really bright star. Is that a star, UFO, or a spaceship, or a airplane? Let's see. Um, all right, cool. Let's see if I can zoom in on the star. One of these days, I want to see something weird that we can be like, what the heck is that? I think it's just the star. twinkling in the sky it's kind of crazy that you can zoom in on the star though maybe it's a planet that would, that's uh, interesting okay i gotta go back to normal zoom uh, oh now it's not scrolling okay, oh wait oh wait oh wait it's scroll i could get this scroll how did i do that i scrolled it for a second okay that was weird i was able to scroll it for one second i'm not sure how i did that I, i'm going to research i'm going to use ai tonight to kind of ask how i can um scroll through the chat or something because it just worked for one second <sighs> but now it stopped moving oops you gotta readjust okay okay take care kevin oh, i love i love 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 the sound of crashing in water too it's a little beach here when um, Hurricane Sandy came in here, right where we're standing right here, it was probably about four feet of water. So the water came up above from that location all the way up to the pier, and then about four feet of water where I'm standing right now. It's crazy how much water got blown in here. Here, I'll see. Turn the camera so you can see the water for a That's guys, uh, that's the um, ferry right there. So you just take the ferry and you can go uptown to, uh, I think 33rd Street. You could go downtown to the uh, Brooklyn Bridge and then the South Street Seaport. I really like the ferry. If you're ever in New York and you just want to get across the river for four bucks, you can take the ferry and it's like a beautiful ride for relatively cheap. I feel like you get such a deal. Okay, let's get out of the wind. 
so that it's not a, you can hear me again. But that's, um, Mr. Keem, Mr. Keem had uh, a separate cell phone on him. So he had a camera on his shoulder streaming and um, he was able to uh, read the actual chat. All right, good night, P. Dempsey. Take care. My phone will probably go and die in the next five, 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna keep walking until it dies. But if, you, if it dies, I don't get to say, I just wanna let you guys all know I appreciate you. I love you guys. And I, uh, I just, I love just walking and talking. This is so much fun for me. Ah, uh, I don't know. I feel like they should make Spice Girl Funko Pops. I think they would do really well. I sell Spice Girl stuff pretty well in my shop, so I know there's enough nostalgia for them. Uh, they would have to do something though to like, you know, like a comeback tour or a something like, you know, something that would make them kind of back in the mainstream again, I think. But yeah, every time I get Spice Girl dolls, like the vintage ones from the mid nineties or, uh, you know, other stuff it sells. Yeah, no, his, his camera mounts on his shoulder. So you saw his face. It was kind of odd, but I did like that. He was hands-free. So I, I would probably still have my, uh, I, I'll figure it out. I'll figure out something. Cause I, I don't want to show my funky beard the whole time I'm streaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you half oster daily yeah i'm uh, i'm just walking on i'm streaming right now on the main channel because i did an hour and a half stream while i was working and then i figured i'd walk around with you guys for a little bit before the camera dies get my exercise in and uh earlier today uh my arm was kind of really hurting me again and then i i was like tr moving it a little bit and i heard like a weird pop and then it like kind of felt better. So I don't know if it was like slightly dislocated the last month, but now it hurts again a little bit because I think I was overdoing it. So I got to let it rest, but I'm hoping that's the problem and it kind of fixes itself because I want to get back out to walking every day. Like right now it actually feels pretty okay. Just like a little bit tender, but not like the throbbing, numbing pain that it had. They did, they're, now they're doing new Monster High Pops because Monster High is now nostalgic. Monster High came out the same time Funko Pops did in 2010. Uh, it was very successful up to about 2017, 2018. Then uh, Monster High died. That's like a kind of typical toy line. Uh, but now all the kids that grew up with it in the early 2010s are in their early 20s. So they're now making Monster High dolls for the adult collector market. So Monster High is now in its second generation. Whereas Funko Pops are still going. It's kind of crazy how long Funko has kept live so i they made an original set in 2013 or 14 so i have that set that actually quite a valuable set probably 50 to 100 dollars a piece for i think five or six of them but they have a whole new set coming out now it's because now they have every couple weeks they have a drop i missed the drop that just came out this week i got but the drop before that i missed i was really pissed it was an amazing jack skellington and sally monster high dolls I absolutely love the ones that they make their mashup of monster characters. So I missed that one. I'm really disappointed that the flippers got them all. There's like 500 of them online right now for sale. And people want $200. Retail was 75. So I'm really agitated, but I do want those eventually. I also missed the last set. They did a Chucky set. They did Chucky and uh, Tiffany set, I think. I missed that set. I'm, I need it. And they, um, I did get the Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein set, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, I got the Gremlin set that came out last year. I got, I, I get most of the adult collector ones, but every once in a while there's just one that sells out way too quick and I miss out on it. But yeah, Monster High dolls I think are super cool. I'm a big fan of them. I think it's one of those modern toys that will have long-term value. In fact, uh, yeah, I love anime. I watch a ton of anime. Uh, right now, I'm slowly working through Made in Abyss, the series I thought that is turning out to be pretty, pretty awesome. Um, um, I think there's one I'm waiting for at the stream. The uh, Oh, yeah, the new Studio Ghibli one that just came out. 
Uh, I haven't seen the trailer, but I'm really, really, exactly, the Studio Ghibli movie, I'm really excited. It just came out, or it's coming out in the next, like, month or so in the U.S. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I'm a huge, huge, huge Studio Ghibli fan. I've been a fan of Studio Ghibli for 23 years. Uh, early 2000s, or late 90s, I think. 99, I think. Alice and I went into the local video rental store, and... We didn't know what to get, and then I saw uh, Princess Mononoke on the shelf, and I thought the cover looked cool. I looked at the back, I'm like, oh, the back cover looked cool. So we rented it. I've been in love with Studio Ghibli since. Amazing, amazing movie. In 2001, I was visiting um, my mom and uh, siblings in Maine, so I brought a copy of Totoro with me to show my, uh, you know, my siblings. They were because they're. They're my half siblings, so they're young. Like my little brother is 16 years younger than me, and my little sister is 21 years younger than me. Uh, my little sister loved Totoro, so she wrote a letter to Totoro, and Suda Ghibli sent back like a really cool bento box set. Oh, they made Twilight autistic. That's awesome. I love Twilight. She's awesome. That is super cool. I like that. I like when they. Uh, have autistic characters in in mainstream media. I think it's fantastic. I'm an autistic character that walks around on YouTube. <laughs> so I think that's awesome. Super cool. I haven't watched the newer cartoons, but they look cool. I kind of do like the the new line of Monster High dolls. They look cool. I like the, just the change. I didn't like the ones that they did in 2018. They're kind of boring. Oh, look. <laughs> I don't know if Tina's still here, but she always, we're always finding chairs out in the garbage on pop walks. I feel like this neighborhood, there's at least two chairs we see each night when we're walking around. But yeah, we rented that movie. Fell in love with Studio Ghibli. My little sister fell in love with Totoro. And uh, I just, I think I've seen every Studio Ghibli movie at this point. Most I've seen multiple times. I think Pom Poco actually might be the one I'm missing. I didn't see Pom Poco yet. Um, but yeah, every Studio Ghibli, watch them. If you haven't watched a Studio Ghibli movie, watch one. Start with like Totoro, My Neighbor Totoro, or Spirit Away. Those are the best ones. Oh, that's awesome, Caitlin. Sweet, you're one of my folks. I love that. Um, trying to think. I also like Porco Rosso, which is kind of fun. Uh, Nausicaa is one of my favorite ones, but that one's a little bit more dated. A uh, Castle in the Sky is a beautiful movie. Uh, Opanio actually might be my favorite Studio Ghibli movie. Just when it's like more of a kids movie. So when I first watched it, I was like, oh, "That's kind of boring." Uh, but by the second through thousandth time, because uh, the cool kid really fell in love with that movie when he was little, so we watched it on repeat. I realized it's just one of the most beautiful movies ever animated. Ponyo is just absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning movie. Um, let's see. I watched A Silent Voice this year. Silent Voice was a really awesome animated movie or anime movie. It's about a deaf girl who goes into a new school system. And, like, the kids make fun of her, especially one kid. One kid bullies the crap out of her. And then, um... Oh, wow, Lance, that's amazing. Yeah, Max has all the Studio Ghibli. So if you have uh, Max, you can go and watch the Studio Ghibli movies. I think they're amazing. Uh, I don't think I've seen uh, Azu Manga Dio. I need to see that. It's still factory sealed. Yeah, I have My Neighbor Totoro in like five formats. I think I even have a Japanese VHS of it I bought at one point. Honestly, I have a lot of Studio Ghibli stuff in my collection. Hundreds of items. I don't buy everything I see because it's expensive, the imported stuff, but every once in a while I break down. Like one of my favorite Studio Ghibli things is I have a, it's about this big, four or five inches long. It's a Nausicaa bug and it's like got a hundred articulation points and it's all made out of metal. It looks like a piece of jewelry practically. It's amazing. I love it. I was looking, I was showing on the live stream the other day, I was showing pictures from my store I found I still had online from 2004 when we were selling in the basement, and I noticed I had a shelf full of Totoro's for sale. I thought that was actually really cool. Old school, 20 year old Totoro love. I got, I got receipts. <laughs> Totoro's cool. 
At one point, I bought the Blu-ray set that was like, I think it was kind of bootleggy, but I had the whole Studio Ghibli on it, including the shorts and stuff. I had to get that because I wanted to watch everything. And then I have most of the movies on Blu-ray. But what was I saying? Silent Voice, beautiful movie. Um, the kid bullies the, the deaf girl. And then at one point, he breaks her cochlear implant. And because of that, he gets like in trouble. And then all the, the kids kind of blame him and say, oh, he's the one who's doing it. So he becomes a pariah. So then he lives from like, this is like sixth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, something like that. So he lives through to high school being the kid who gets bullied. So he gets sort of his, um, oh really, is it that expensive? I'll have to check it out. The, the, what is it? Azumanga Dio. I'm not familiar with it. I'll have to look it up. But anyway, so then um, the kid, when he's in high school, he decides he has to go find the girl that he bullied in middle school and like apologize and like make amends. It's a, it's a very beautiful story of friendship.